Hey, how goes it? I'm Andrew, your DM for the day. Uh, along with this band of miscreants and murder hobos, we're the Dirty Rollers. Uh, yeah. Let's give you a quick rundown. Uh, first up, we got Matthew. Hi, I'm Matthew. I play Nick Nick. I'm a female uh, thief rogue. And Melissa? My name is Melissa, and I play Iris Fart Gargle, who is a monk of the astral self. James. I'm James, and I play Buckle Tick, a older goblin who is a warlock pact of the Great Old One. And Chrissy? I'm Chrissy, and I play Mustella, um, the Badger Druid. Technically, Circle with a Moon Druid, but she's a Badger Druid. Excellent. And last but not least, kind of, not really, Gara, Squeeb. And I'm Gary, and I play Squeeb, who is a tiny goblin. Battlesmith Artificer that rides on a mechanical rooster. And our sixth missing member is down here. And uh, that would be Shardo. Shardo is, uh, he's out scouting uh, for the group, supposedly. I wonder if he's where he went. But, uh, let's see. James, you want to give us a quick rundown? So we showed up to the mines in the hopes of... Uh, collaborating a mission of uh, conquest, uh, gathering as many <laughs> as many uh, murderous goblins and any other takers I would like to join the uh, <laughs> the Mudbutt clan on Totalden. <laughs> and uh, we made our way in by making it rain coins, and uh, we seem to have buried ourselves in the coins, so now they are attacking us because we put, we couldn't buy off one person, one certain goblin, so now they called down the heavies and they ran off. And uh, now we're kind of in a little bit of a pickle in this uh, mine. All right. Uh, yeah. So uh, to start this off with uh, last session in the, the quick little skirmish they had after diplomacy failed them. Well, to be honest, rather quick. Uh, when money and diplomacy failed them, uh, Mustella called on uh a, a great lightning storm that is still hanging around since we uh, we ended off at the the very tail end of the battle. <clears throat> um, Lady Nick Nick is hiding under a cart of ore, um, this weird red ore that's laying around, and uh, Squeeb was leading the charge into a tunnel, I think. Indeed, so possibly. Maybe. So most of the goblins around us right now, yeah, uh, in. The big open cavern. Uh, I double check. They're not attacking call lightning us for ten minutes. The at coins. Is that right? Uh, so the the guy with the uh, brown uh, symbol here, <clears throat> um, he took your copper pieces and ran away. He didn't know that you offered gold to the other ones, or he might have had something to say about that. Uh, the <laughs> boss uh, Lunt. Look, I got copper pieces. <laughs> Come off! I got gold. <laughs> what? <laughs> Boss one with the uh, the red uh, symbol over here. He was uh, you guys made him a promise that uh, he could be the overboss of the mines here if uh, he uh, paved the way to the overboss of the mines and uh, got you guys uh, made him made you able to uh, talk to the overboss who's a little ways up. Um, so he's kind of sort of on your side through, you know, bribery and gold. Uh, a couple of the other ones down here at the beginning were uh, fighting over what gold pieces you tossed their way. Um, problem at the moment being uh, boss, uh, boss Dreckel, the one that was in charge, has, uh, after being attacked, took off into the mines, blowing his whistle and sounding the alarm for uh, the intruders here. So you're not sure if... Everybody out front will be uh, neutral for much longer, or if you're going to have to face down a whole lot of enemies. I guess it's better. We're safer off diving into maybe this smaller tunnel just in case everybody turns on us. It'd be easier to funnel everybody. Yeah. So, and I'm pissed at uh, Triple well, took off, and that's the guy I want to kill. Uh, yeah. So. Squeeb is definitely going to head down the tunnel. Um, let's see. I guess I'll do five, ten, 
Is that a path to my right? So, see what you I see. I can't here. really tell. I guess not, because I just can't see down there, so no. Right. You're, you're not sure exactly uh, where things are. There's no light in this tunnel at the moment. Uh, there's just the light you can see from uh, outside. Okay. Yep, so you have the, the firelight coming from behind you. Um, <clears throat> you don't see any light in the tunnels. Um, you still can see the tunnel walls all right. Um, you're not sure exactly which way Dreckel went in these tunnels. And let's see, while you do that, I'm going to roll and see if something happens here. All right. So Squeeb is going off this way. Um, well, he's up investigating the tunnels a little ways up there. Uh, let's see. Buckle Tick and Iris. Yeah, Buckle Tick and Iris. Uh, make a perception check for me. Okay. Mm, what's our perception? Uh, I got a 16 altogether. 10. 16 and 10. All right. I mean, one second. This, this might work out rather well. I think you're going to be here. This will be super amusing. All right. So, that's <laughs> I think uh, Sir Jacob is about to join us with Shark. Oh shit. Yay! Yay! Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, boy. Yay! Jake! This here's our uh, our missing member. And he's gone. <laughs> uh, he's like Shardo. He's, he's like Shardo. Like <clears throat> Fair All right. right. So this is the sixth member of the uh, Mudbot clan. This is uh, Jake. Get clapped. Jake, can't you just tell us uh, your character's name and your class? Just a real quick thing. <laughs> I'm playing Sharto, the Goblin Ranger. Uh, you want the backstory? No, right? just a subclass, maybe. Balloon <clears throat> Stalker. Yeah, you got a, a rare one. Um, can I really do that? That sounds dumb. <laughs> no, no, this is recording. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> uh, that's all we needed, though, is a uh, stumble right. one. So, uh, what you see, uh, Shardo, first of all, uh, Shardo has been uh, reconning the uh, the mine area here. You've been walking around the entire top. These walls are about 18 to 20 feet high. <clears throat> you can see down in, you see a mishmash of uh, kobolds and uh, goblins milling about. Um, from where you're at right here, though, um, yeah, all right, so you can see a very puzzling sight directly below you. You see a pen. Let me add all these in. Where was Jake at? He's all the way down. Nope. Where? nope, he moved. Oh, no. <gasps> No! What? Turn out what's happening? Oh, no! What is that? So you guys just plowed straight ahead. What knows to, that uh, icon? <laughs> you guys plowed straight ahead and didn't oh. bother to investigate the whole area, and you missed a, a thing over here. Uh, Shardo, being a oh, recon no. ranger, so sees um, <laughs> a pen full of weird little uh, chicken lizard looking things. Cockatrice? Oh. oh no! You can hear them <laughs> scratching around. Um, 
and you see a, a pair of uh, kobolds with weird contraptions on their back uh, milling around. Uh, they look like they may or may not be like keepers of this this weird pen of things down here. <clears throat> um, Shardo would have also heard uh, the quick fight that happened up here in the uh, one of the two cave entrances or uh, mine entrances they found. They had a quick fight and uh, ran into one of the goblin bosses. That would be Boss Drickle. Uh, he, after being attacked and watching some of his uh, mine workers die through various horrific means, started blowing on a whistle and taking off running through the mines. Squeeb gave chase, but he disappeared from view. You don't know where he went. Um, and to catch you up, this goblin here with the red is boss Lunt, and he has been paid off and promised uh, a position of uh, like power in the mines here if you guys take it over successfully he led you up to this other boss at the top this north portion here and uh introduced you tried to persuade him to let you guys in to talk to the overboss and uh that guy wasn't having it and started the fight to get into the mine, uh, they, uh, <laughs> your your buddies in uh, Clan Mudbutt made it rain gold coins and started uh, little mini fights between the goblins and the kobolds over the coins, uh, bribery, and uh, just throwing throwing coins around have got them up this far. Uh, so I think you're caught up there. The perception check that I had, uh, Buckle Tick and Iris roll. Buckle Tick, you hear a whole lot of um, uh, rustling around in the camp behind you as soon as that whistle goes off. Uh, maybe the sounds of uh, weapons being taken up or things being slid around. You hear oh a strange noise off to uh, the oh. east, which is all the, a mad, like... I don't even like clucking, scratching sounds coming from the right. Um, some weird high pitch noises. And you hear the yelling of kobolds trying to get something under control. Uh, should also be uh, mentioned to Shardo that you see a massive storm cloud over this entire mining <laughs> area. Hmm. Uh, Mustella has used it to uh, completely smoke one go kobold, uh, combining goblins and kobolds. <laughs> Completely smoke one kobold out of existence and uh, pop another one. Uh, that's just about the chaotic state of things. <laughs> that was a good recap, uh, uh, Yeah. <laughs> so now uh, the audience is caught up twice and Jake is caught up once. Yeah. I think that's all you can see there. Let me double check. All I heard was we're fighting these guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, yeah it's just up where it's like 40. <laughs> drinking fire. Isn't there like 40 <laughs> goblins in there or something? Good news is they go down like 30 some hit points. <laughs> What's so a one shot. Hmm. <laughs> Metagame Matthew. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am bad about that too. The meta gaming thing. It's, it's all right. It's, I mean, these are these are weak boys. It's, it's no big deal here. Um, oh, I forgot a couple of guys. Come back. So you can see. Um. So, Buckle Pick, hearing the the sounds off to your right, what would you like to do? Uh, I just say. Seems like their backup's coming. Maybe we should go down this tunnel to funnel them out. Should also be mentioned real quick for uh, viewers. Uh, Sharto has a bit longer uh, dark vision than the rest of them, so his sight lines will probably be a bit crazier being a gloom stalker. Um, all right, so sorry, James. What were you doing? Uh, I I just you know let the people that I the the group know immediately. Hey, the, there's going to be the their backups coming, so maybe we should funnel them down into this tunnel so they don't totally <laughs> surround us. 
and uh, yeah. What are you guys doing? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go down this tunnel. Following Squeeb. Come on, DJ. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I think there we go. That's the full. That's the full. Um. Do we know that Sharto's over there? No, he's uh he's perched up like Batman on the, the edge of the thing. <laughs> um, he is Shark Man. So Shark Man. The yes. walls are about 18, 20 feet high, but those watchtowers, those wooden watchtowers you can see there, they come right up to like ground level there. So if you wanted to, you could jump on and uh go down the ladders or climb down. Yeah, I'd like to go ahead and rejoin them. <laughs> All right. So, um, you have one unoccupied watchtower, or depending on the size of your murder erection, there is, uh, two goblins on this watchtower, uh, little <laughs> to the east. I can't move my token. Oh. And I can't see the map. Well, you just got all kinds of problems. Mm-hmm. Minor difficulties. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Now you can see it? Yeah. I can't see the map. I can move my token. Hmm. You can't see anything now? Everything's white. Okay. Uh, I, I can see all the the enemies. <laughs> enemies. Um, do me a favor and load your browser. And if that doesn't work, I'll reload mine. Yeah, right. Andy. <laughs> yep. Can I roll a stealth check to see if I can put my Stella's tail in my mouth again? No. Without her knowing. Uh, uh, it'd be a slight yes. hand check versus her perception. <clears throat> but oh. you can... oh my yes. god. <laughs> That's terrible. Did you see my question, by the way? Uh, can, you, can you smell? Uh, I'm not going to give the whole thing to you outright, but it might come in situationally. Okay. For certain things. Cool. Is that fair? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I need, uh, I need that contested perception check. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I have to roll a perception you check? You got to beat a 23. <laughs> Uh, I can't be in the town. Listen to that grumbling. 19? Nin- 19? No. Mm. You feel oh. your, your your tail... Uh, well, it's not even your tail, right? It's uh, the badger pelt. Well, she has a tail. It's a fake tail. Oh, but... right. right, right. <laughs> no, so, yeah, you don't feel anything. Uh, Iris is just uh, chewing on Marcella's fake badger tail. Quite content. <laughs> Nips her on the butt to make her let go of the tail. <laughs> uh, Jay, can you see everything now? No. Okay, I'm gonna reload mine then. Reload. I'm not really oh, sorry. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not sorry. <laughs> the heartthrob. <laughs> in our heart, though. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Start the so kawaii. All right. No. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just love the nose. It's just no, no, no. <laughs> All right, so I'm reloaded. Good to go. Are we all good now? No, I think he's got to reload again. One more time. Oh, okay. It's, I think it's doing to him what uh, Jesus did the other I day. I think you're okay. Yep. <laughs> no. You do your whole uh, browser. Don't don't reload. Just uh, just here. Yay, technology! It's yeah. fun. It's good time. All right. So in the meantime, we get um, Irish chewing <laughs> on uh, Sharkilles, Sharkilles, Sharkilles. <laughs> oh God. We got Irish chewing on with Stella's <laughs> tail. Um, Nick, Nick, what are you doing? You're hiding under the, the ore cart. Are you going to stay under there? <laughs> I would like to try and take some ore from underneath the cart. Sure. Uh, you're hidden, so you can... I don't know what it is, but it's just like... You can take some if you want. You're hidden. Thank you. How much would I be... How much would I be able to get... Oh, like in six seconds. <laughs> you could take um, <clears throat> six small pieces of the this weird ore stuff. This uh, could I take right? one big piece instead? Yeah, you can take a big piece. Take a right. big piece and two small ones instead, if you want. Sure. <clears throat> Hey Andy, how many pieces do I have? I think you had like three small pieces that you were okay. left with. Aww. Um. Oh crap! I don't know what to do because on mine it it shows you being able to see pretty much everything. I guess Charter is just gonna see everything. No, I don't think you can see any of the map. Oh, is that the thing? <laughs> <clears throat> don't worry, you can just draw it all, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll see myself out now. <laughs> You've got all your goodies there. I'm not sure. You might just have to uh, <laughs> stick with everybody. Pallor on them. Keep sending them updated pictures. You, you said you can see the enemies, though, right? I can see them. I can kind of see how my dark vision's working. Yeah. <laughs> but all I see is tokens in white. Oh, uh, I think it's mm -hmm. like almost the same thing it was doing to James last night, where it was doing like a uh, grayscale instead of white, but same issue. Yeah. Oh, sorry for the technical difficulties. Um, I guess we'll go along with it until it turns into a problem. Do you think mm -hmm. you get by being able to see the other enemy tokens and stuff at least? Should be able to. If I if I describe uh, <clears throat> like how much space you've got and like places you can hide behind or whatever, should be alright. Okay. I so you a picture of it. That worked too. I hope. Cool. Okay. I'll um, yeah. So Nick, Nick, you you take a one big chunk and two smaller pieces of this strange uh, reddish colored ore. Um, what, let's see what else would you like to do? You can hear the the whistles going off. You can hear the the mining area like starting to uh, like get their equipment or weapons together. Uh, I'm staying right where I am. I'm too scared. Okay, Nick, Nick, staying behind. Um, Mustella. Um. 
when you said we could hear stuff from the right, is anybody actually approaching us yet, or is it just Not something yet. heard? No, just stuff you heard. Nothing's uh, approaching or anything just yet. Your your buddy, your paid off buddy, uh, boss one is just uh, kicked back against the uh, the wood watch tower, just kind of laughing while he's counting the money that you gave him. <laughs> um. <laughs> Fun fact, Can he seems actually... to be able to count to three and then he starts over a lot. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if he's losing count or I can it's, only uh... count to four. Yeah. <laughs> four. Well, psycho stick reference there. Yay! Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> so can I actually uh, see check them out, people? <laughs> the the cockatrices and stuff from here? Oh, you can see a fence over there. You don't know what's inside. Can't quite make that out. Um, okay. I think what I'm going to do... I'm gonna... Oops, I got the ruler on. Dang it. Okay. Um, everybody else is in the tunnel. Sweep and buckle take so far. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna wait at the entrance of the tunnel here and wait for everybody to go in. Okay. Just to make sure nobody's coming. Because if my thunderstorm's still up and I can get a few more bolts off, I'm going to wait to do that. Yeah, makes sense. All right. Uh, so you go, you go to walk away and there's a, a slight resistance and you feel like, like a tug, you need a little a cry from Iris as she comes like shooting forward behind you with your, your fake tail in her mouth. Oh... <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm gonna grab their tail back out of her mouth. Oh. Oh. Gross. <laughs> does, your, does your tail drag on the ground? It just barely touches, just a wee bit. Yeah, so it's probably does your tail hang low? Does it wobble to and fro? <laughs> Can you put it in your mouth? Can you suck it like? I don't know. <laughs> what in the hell? I don't know what just happened. Are you okay, Matthew? No. What is happening? I what are you doing? What am I doing? I, yeah. I'm just going to chill with my Stella for now. All right. Um, she got Shardo, Nick Nick. Um, so, let's see, there's that. Can you hold a. a Lightning bolt, by the way, is that like a thing? What hold an action? Yeah, like it, would that be considered holding an action? Yeah, you could say that you're gonna hold an action until X thing happens. I didn't know if that would work, like that particular spell would work. I mean, work you wouldn't be like, Mustella wouldn't suddenly turn into Zeus and be able to hold a lightning bolt <laughs> in her hand, but she, you can say that you're gonna hold your action. And too. then along came Zeus. Okay. Can I do that then? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what's your trick? Right. Why? Um. If somebody, I guess, comes into my view that looks like they're going to attack us. Okay. If that counts. Yeah, that's fine. So Are my have... mushroom arms still out? Your arms last <laughs> for a while. I think those last a minute. Oh, I thought they lasted yeah. longer or not. Yeah, see how long they last, Melissa. It'll minutes. stay on here. So, yeah. Um, your arms last for as long as that storm's up, pretty much. Or whoever went oh, first. Oh, nice. I'm going to use them. I'm going to use them as a jump rope while I'm waiting with my Stella. <laughs> Jumping over my dick arms. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you remember who who went off uh, first? The the storm or the, the astral arms? It would have been me, I think, right? Yeah, it was the storm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'll have all you guys re-roll initiative for things that are going to happen here. Re-roll initiative, huh? Yep. New encounter, plus we gotta add Shardo back in. Son of a... I initiative, okay. Come Yay. on, luckies. 14. Dang. Nice. Broke ash. Man, that wasn't bad. Sure, too. Did mine show up? Yeah. You're a nine. 
Um, so that's 13, and the pipe's 21. Got it. Been the only really good roll I've had so far. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dang, Sharto. You know how he do. Natural 20. Yeah. Then no initiative. came Sharto. <laughs> Was it on the first die? And I rolled it on the, uh, beyond. Oh, right, right, dude. He ain't gonna roll that drift die. No, he's not. <laughs> I don't even know where it's at. <laughs> he chucked it the last time we played, I think. Really? Yeah, I think so. Um, all right, uh, Shardo, you're uh, the first one up here. <clears throat> and nobody's acting aggressive, but it could be, right? Yeah, nobody's coming at you right this instant. But you can hear the whistle going off in the caves, or in the mines, rather. And uh, you can hear the the camp, like this whole mining camp, like starting to rustle around and, and uh, you know, wake up, essentially, that the fact that there's intruders here. Can I move mean, there and I'll pull an arrow and hold it? And I'll just hold the back line with Mistella. Yeah. Everybody gets through. Yep. Where you're at right there. Um, you can't really see around the, the corner that you're on, but you can see out this way. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Cool. That, that seems to be working. Like I can see down the corridor. Buckle ticks in. <laughs> Probably see all the way down the corridor. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, all right. So you're holding your action for anybody coming into view. Anybody looking like they're ready to attack? Cool. Uh, Nick, Nick. Let's see if I'm brave this time. Just barely. Play the game called Brave or Surrounded. Those that's wondering, I'm using. <laughs> hmm? uh, playing the game called Brave mm, or Surrounded. <laughs> Brave or Surrounded. Yeah. Uh, to anyone wondering, I'm using a DC of 10 um, to see if I am braving my fear of people staring at me. And Perfect. I just rolled a 12. Uh, gosh, make me the brave. <laughs> God, uh, I I don't want that competition. Hey, you hold on to the talk talk feather I gave you in the last game. How's your strength? It's all dash all the way over here. <laughs> Just screams and runs across the open area. There's too many people. I'd rather stand next to literal goblin death <laughs> face off against my own phobia. The grim goblin. I think more people will look at you because you're running. <laughs> what is that goblin doing? All right, so we didn't even know she was there. You're using your action to dash? Uh, or... No, you don't have to dash if you don't want to. Oh, then I will. Uh, let's see. Hide behind Charto. <laughs> <laughs> it would take 10 feet to get over there, and that's a wall. But I will go there. Yep. That would be 35. I can't really. That would be an action to dash there, and I'll use a bonus action to hide behind that wall. All right. That works. <laughs> I ran screaming, and so I was like, ah! Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> you are, do we got one for hidden? Maybe. Uh, there's a ninja sign. There you go. Would that hidden. work? Yep. All right. Um, hey, that's the one I was thinking of. So that has most it as A. We'll be one for A and two for B. Mastella, did you see Nick Nick? She's so funny. 
<laughs> Running for my life, scared of my mind. I'll jump roping over my dicks. I mean, mushrooms. <laughs> Mush dick. I imagine I stopped, did double dutch with you before moving on. <laughs> Brave Nick Nick. Brave Nick Nick for Nick. Oh, I almost forgot something. Oh. Um. We forgot to show off for the cool character for the little, little quick intros, but I'll get to that when we do. Uh, when we oh, do I thought that. we were just doing those for the longer intros. Uh, I'll show them off because I really like it, and I'm kind of sad that I didn't do it the first one. Um, so yeah, uh, this this kobold over here, he walks over and does something over this way, and points with his stick. And a swarm of weird chicken things come flying out. No. Uh, oh no. Are they? Little... They're probably monstrosities or something. These are monstrosities. Those are cool. Nam's cute. Don't let them scratch you. Nope. Forget I said that. Let them scratch. <laughs> let them get all up in your face. Give them a big hug. Give them, give them. Let, let them kiss you. Big old kiss right on the lips. Big old kiss a rule from Kenny Rogers. A weedle wound. Let's see. He does. He'll do one of his uh his little special things here, so I'm gonna um not gonna lightning. Yes you can actually. One second. I need to see what he's gonna do. Alright, so he's doing five. So yeah, you were holding your action, so your uh your lightning goes off first. So it would be to the first one that that came in to your line of sight. Is that how it would work, or can I put it somewhere else? Did they all move up together? Well, I mean, they went in turn order, but uh, eh, I'll say you can put them. They're they're probably moving together. They're pretty fast. Um, so if you want to target this first one, which would would have been the trigger for your spell. You would hit the him, him, and him. Mm. It'll essentially be one, two, and three. So I'm going to put their numbers on right now so you guys can differentiate them better. Okay. That worked? Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess I'll do that then. Call down that lightning. Do it. Call, uh, DC 15 dex, right? Yeah. So one, two, and three all need to make dex saves. And their dex save. Just a plus one. I forgot to update my key point. Shit. Put it in. Negative one. <laughs> what? All right, so one takes the full amount, you roll the one, uh, two saved, and three failed. So nice. one and three are taking the entire 3d10. Oh, oh, my dice went everywhere. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, 12, it looks like 12. All right, the first one takes 12. I think. Yeah. Second one takes six, and third one takes. Four. Okay. That was your lightning bolt going off. Was anybody else holding? What also were you, sister? Were you holding something? Holding an action, or were you not? I think she has not just gone yet. Oh, oh, oh. No, she's still further down. Uh, Shardo was holding an arrow, but they are not in his line of sight yet. Oh, okay. Um. Um. Right. And. Yeah. Can I move Iris up real quick so I can take a picture of what Jay should be able to see and then sure. bring her back? Yep. Okay. 
Um, the, the goblin, or the goblin, the kobold, um, is using his thing. He did a special thing. So he reaches back. You, so, Mustelo, you can see after you cast this that, uh, a swarm of these weird little chicken lizard things come running up towards you guys. <clears throat> you see, um, one, uh, kobold, another one with a bunch of these, these weird contraptions, uh, covering him. He reaches down and, um, like fumbles around on his, his belts and his things that he's got hanging off of him. And he pulls off a little pot of things. And sure. Uh, let's see. He can throw this. Uh, she's not actually there, so I think he'll throw it. We'll throw it here. He's gonna throw right here. Whoops. Bloop. He's going to throw a clay pot full of rot grubs. Rot grubs? Rot grubs. <laughs> Can I eat them? Can I eat them all real fast? <laughs> we'll see. We'll both. <laughs> <laughs> Is there actually a total of uh, this? Whoops. Wrong spot. There is a token for this. Amazing. For rock grubs? Yep. Wow. Well, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Yes. Ew, I don't know if I want to eat those. Hello. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> what are those? What are you? <laughs> God, eat them. Let's eat them. All right. Uh, so. Uh, finger sized maggots that eat living or dead flesh. Interesting. All right, so yeah, there is a swarm of rock grubs there. That's his turn. Uh, buckle tick. Okay. Uh, okay. And let's show some art while buckle tick is doing his thing. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, which one of these? Uh, uh, Chicken monsters uh, was uh, hit by that lightning bolt that Lucella sent down. Uh, number one. Number one. They were all hit, right? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, one was the one that it was called down on, and then uh, two and three took the uh, the other damage there. The all splash. Right. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just do two Eldritch blasts: one at one, and then one at the number two. Okay. Uh, okay, for number one, first Eldritch Blast. Nope. Eight. Swing and a miss. All right, so... Uh, at number two. Number two hits. All right. Uh, 13 force damage for number two. <clears throat> 13... You still uh, flavor on your blast to look like some like blackened hooked seaweed, like hook, hooked seaweed mixed with like uh, uh, Humboldt squid tendrils, just a little bit. All right, with the necrotic you green glows. Your necrotic uh, tendrils. Uh, blast hits it and it lets out a similar sounding like you're used to from uh, <laughs> scream and bok talk. And after that, I'm going to move 5, 10, 15 feet down the line. Oh, all right. Oh, boy. I see you, Mr. Man. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> a little <laughs> It's weird when you don't know what he's talking about. And he's just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 
I see somebody that's running away from us. That's all I'm going to say. But that's all I see. And yeah, that's that's my turn. I'm. All right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Got uh, cockatrice A is going to run up and bite at Iris. Huh? Iris, you're being bit at by a crazy chicken lizard. Uh, it's a natural two, so that's gonna miss. <clears throat> um, number two. Mastella, why did her trying to eat me? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, two what runs did, up and tries to bite you. That's a natural three. <clears throat> a natural three. Number three. Where's my camera. Uh, seventeen hit you. That's my armor class. Seventeen. You take. Uh, oh uh, no! Five damage. Oh. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Just by the no, you, you actually fell it. I like. Um. <laughs> All right, this could be interesting. Um, no, Andy. You are restrained and no, no. starts to tighten. <laughs> and Stop letting me edit my health for some reason. Makes it hard to move. That's terrible for a monk. It is, really. Yeah. Well, it could get a lot worse. It could get amusing real fast. Oh shit. No. Let's see. Uh number four. Can I shoot number three since I can totally see him? Oh yeah, your trigger would be Oh yeah, you were holding your action. My bad. My bad. Hope you blow it out of the way. Or you could roll a one since more uh the iris is in the line of fire. Twenty three hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sad panda. Six damage on three. Okay. <clears throat> Andy, did you say it took damage? Took five. I can't edit it for some reason. It won't let me. Um, I was able to earlier. Let me try moving her. Hey, uh, uh, hey, uh, try try subtracting it. In, it. Uh, yeah, all right, yeah. It's working now. Okay. Uh, so yeah. <clears throat> Charto, uh, blast the one that just bit you. Can I? Uh, I'm going to use favored foe on it. Yeah. Another two. Two more. <clears throat> Still alive. One sec. <laughs> Sorry about that. I want to clear my throat on the mic. All right, so you had two more damage there. Uh, number four, going to run up here. And going to run in the middle of that shit. And let's see. Let's see what it says for these guys. Remember, Potman's Hazard. Well, that's interesting. Uh, so when the crazed chicken thing enters there, the rock grubs attack it. Oh, uh, so oh, natural oh. six plus zero. So they, they the, the chicken thing dances around enough to to not be bitten by the the weird rock grub. Oh. and uh, it runs up there and it bites at you, Marcella. Uh, I think that is uh, 17 to hit. Yes. I hit you. 1d4. Uh, 3 damage total. 
Mm. And I need a constitution saving throw. Nah. Do it. <laughs> no. no. Um, we'll see. I think that was Mustella just snarling. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, that don't look good. I can't. Where's my constitution? Oh, that don't look good. Ten. Ten. Um, you too feel your skin tar- start to uh, <laughs> tighten up and you are restrained. So, what does that mean? I just can't move or something? Uh, restrained? Yeah. Restrained. I just want to find it. Restrained is uh, your speed becomes zero and you can't benefit from any bonus to speed. Attack rolls against you have advantage and your attack rolls have disadvantage. And you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Why are you like this? Uh, you should have rolled better. Oh, it gets worse. Oh, it gets a lot worse. Why do you want us to die? I don't. I want you to live. He's the DM. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill you guys. You just had all this nice art done up, and now you're going to die and have to re-roll. Yeah. <laughs> he's, doing that. he's doing this so we can level up. He's doing it so we can level up. He has faith in us. Yeah, you're tumpied. Yeah. Uh, that was four. Uh, number five. That's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Attacks Iris. Uh, that's a natural yeah. one. <laughs> Iris is disgusting stink. It throws it off. 10, 15, 20, 30. I should send Precious in the cave. Uh, <gasps> Precious the badger is going to get Precious. swarmed and eaten and turned. No. <clears throat> All right, Mustela, it is your turn. Um, uh, oh, I, for- I got to change my hit points. I forgot to change it. Um... It didn't change. Why would you not? Um, Try moving your token first and then changing it. There, I, I think what? it. I think it did a thing. Yep. Um. Oh, uh, roll a uh, concentration save, by the way, for your lightning storm. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Constitution. Uh, or, I I have. <laughs> Something. What do I have? I have a thing. Uh, Warcast. Warcast. Is that just? Um, I'm looking for it real quick. I think you have advantage to concentration checks. Um. I think this will matter pretty big for this time here. Oh my gosh! I totally forgot. Um, I can also use a reaction for things that I totally forgot about. Mm. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, hmm. uh, you know, I don't see where it says advantage, but I'm pretty sure it does, right? Warcaster? Yeah. I'm fairly positive that's one of the main reasons to take it, but I could. Yeah, and I don't know why I don't see it. Um, Try to find it. <laughs> I got it. Warcaster, you have advantage on constitution saving throws to maintain concentration on a spell when you take damage. Yep. Okay. I don't know why it doesn't say that so in my the first thing things. here, but... Nice. Oh, gosh. Oh, geez. Just throwing it off the table. I lost my dice. Okay. So that's constitution, though, is yep. what you said? Let's save. So, let's see. So, geez. <laughs> So, dirty 20 for the first one. Dirty And 19 for the next one, so. Alright, yeah. You are you can keep your concentration up. <clears throat> um, um, so, now it's your turn. What would that. you like to do? So, I still got my storm. <clears throat> I guess, um... So if I drop it here, do you see my thing? Yep. Is oh geez, I can never remember. Lunt. Lunt is in this square here. So if you drop it right behind number one, Lunt uh, would still have to roll for it. 
gets. But that's what he gets for our movie. Right? Care about lunch? <laughs> no. You do you. Do what you must. <laughs> you be Mustella. I'll hit Shardu, I think, if I drop it here. No, he's on the other side of the wall. Oh, so I can drop it here and it won't hit Shardu? Yep. There's a little... You see the wall? Oh, crap. Oh, I see. He's hiding I... behind there. <coughs> Maybe I'll drop it there then. Okay. I think is what I want to do. I don't trust these grubby things. I don't know what they do or if they attract like the cockatrice or something. I kind of want to get rid of them. Well, you do know that uh, when they hit, they didn't seem to move, but they attacked the cockatrice as soon as it came into its into their square. Does Mustela know what they are? Um, like a nature check thing or something? They are tiny beasts. Um, so yeah, you can roll a nature check. Uh... It's not very good. Not very good. Or is it survival? Is it nature survival? Probably nature. Nature. It's only eight. Then. Okay. <laughs> they make you think of the the gross things that uh, sometimes come out of your little badger friends and family. <gasps> is it a botfly? Uh, maybe oh, well. it's just what they make you think of. You don't know what they are or what they do exactly, but they uh, you, uh, look like that. Um, so oh, don't. Where, <laughs> where are you putting your lightning bolt? Right behind the rock groves and number four there? Yeah, I was debating on if I care about Lunt getting hit by it or not. I don't know if he would attack or if it would matter. <laughs> I don't know if he would live through it. You don't think he'd live through it? Or if he even care. care. Do we care if Lunt lives or not? Wait, was... Oh. Hmm. Lunt He's been the sitting there guys... counting money. Yeah, Lunt was the one you guys paid off and promised uh, mm -hmm. he could essentially rule over the mines if you guys got control of it. Mm -hmm. I'll just drop it there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a goddess. I don't care. <laughs> it's like count your money elsewhere, bud. You need to move out of the war zone. All right. Yep. So I need a dexterity <laughs> save for one, you two, three, three, enough. three cockatrice and a. Uh, let's see these things shouldn't have. Yeah, they get negative two. So here's the rock robes. Well, they roll the 15, 13 total. What's the save? 15. Okay. 15. So they fail. Um, how much damage do they take? 16 damage. Okay. 22. Oops. All right, so you, you see the lightning come down and blast that spot, and uh, it, yeah, it's like popcorn. Like, you see a, a bunch of these little grubs just start bursting and popping and flying up in the air. Um, there's still a, a, a few of them on the ground. Um, the see, cockatrice four. Roll the natural 18. So, four passes, one fails. Two fails. What was the damage again? Sorry. Uh, sixteen. So four takes eight damage. And Nick Nick gets sprayed by the popping uh worms. <laughs> Little sprays spattering. Oh. <laughs> Crap! Sorry. Did you say eighteen or sixteen? Sixteen. Sixteen. I mean, 18. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he takes all of it and dies. All right. Uh, let's see. Two is dead. The lightning shocks the shit out of it. All right. 
Um, how long? How much longer does the storm have? Like, is there forever? It's ten minutes long, and you guys have gone through like three rounds of combat. <laughs> okay. So this thing is lasting um, for like ever, as long as you want. Game <laughs> game. And the so the restrain thing that we have going on. Yep, you have to roll a uh, uh, saving throw again right now if it's the end of your turn. Um, can I bonus action turn into a bear first? I guess. Uh, yeah, but it's not going to get rid of the restrained condition. Though. I know. Okay. I just want to be a bear. <laughs> to roar mightily and transform it over here. All right. A badger bear. Yeah, a badger bear. Metal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes the bear. I'll see. Oh, man. I, I, I am out of sight of the bear. All I can see is the little leg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll move it in just a second. I just needed to uh, let her be able to control it. Uh, how much health does the bear have? This has about three thousand. Where did it go? I wish it did. Um, for forty ten plus. How did you want me to do that for the hit points? Forty ten plus twelve. Just take the average that it spits out in parentheses. <laughs> 40, 10 is 40, 12 is 52, so 26. 26? Yep. That's not what this says. What's it say for the average? It says 34. 60. Oh, right, right. I did, I did math wrong. I did 40, 10 instead of 12. Although the last time I was a bear, that is, I thought that wasn't what my hit points were, but maybe it was. I could make you roll for him every time. That's okay, I guess. <laughs> So what was so it? 30, 34. 34. Okay. And your large size? Yes. Big ass gonna fit in a cave. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> All right. or does it take up too many? I can't I can't actually tell how many squares that cave is, so So I'm moving uh Marcella's token down here with the water shape thing on it. So how you rotate. Well, I guess it's a does it. Or if you want to rotate this way. Yeah, chewy bear. <laughs> you know, so it's facing like uh, Iris. So she can kiss I guess the towards the grubby things. You want to kiss what the bear? Dip it. You beat me to it. Don't you cry. <laughs> Just kiss the bear. The bear. That works. The bear, isn't it? <laughs> that works for me. If that works for you. Um, I was <laughs> sucking on the bear's tail. So you are in. <laughs> you're in bear form. You're still restrained. I need you to make a con save. A concept. This is for the restrained thing? Yeah. This this uh, could be a bad thing. What? Mm, yep. Bad, bad, bad. 22. Oh, all right. Um, gee. Hmm? You lose the restrained. Sweet. You fight off the, the creeping stiffness in like, your skin and your bones. And that is your turn. Mm. So lucky. Mm. Um, <laughs> Iris. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, twelve. Well, I'll remember that for the end of your turn. But for for the duration of your turn, you're restrained. <laughs> can't help it. I can't do anything, can I? <laughs> you yeah. can move, but you can still you attack can with a uh, disadvantage. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and I shall use a key point. Uh, let me... And your astral arms have pretty long reach, too. Yeah. All right, yeah, so... Your speed's zero, attack rolls against you have advantage, and your attack rolls have disadvantage. So everything against you, or everything uh, 
you attack, you're rolling at disadvantage. I got to roll six times. <laughs> I'm going to punch number one and say chicken. Punch number three. Chicken. Dinner. Number five. More dinner. Um, so. <laughs> White meat, tart meat, giblets, rotisserie, chicken nuggets, bok choy. <laughs> so I guess first would be 11. 11 actually hits. Chop me. <laughs> Chop sweet. Ooh, 24. 24 hits. Now I just have that song stuck in my head. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so roll okay. damage for number one. Hi-ya. Hi-ya. Oh, wait. I didn't do it on... I saw it come oh, through. Okay. I'll do it over here, though. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You yell out chicken and dick arms punch <laughs> this chicken back here against the, uh, the watchtower and it slumps over dead. <laughs> Uh, <gasps> roll for dinner. Oh. Dinner! <laughs> oh, I hit the wrong one. Whoops, sorry. Disregard. 11. Oh, yeah, I gotta roll for Lunt. I'll, I'll roll for Lunt in a second here. 11 damage on number three. Are you seriously gonna knock all three of these out? Yes. Three goes uh, into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> and more dinner. So it was 11, 15, 10. Oh, no, no, ten. Wait, for dinner? <laughs> Could you say you punched it going, This is dinner? <laughs> you punch dinner, clear down the pit, and he's gone. He's sailing through the air with a. <laughs> So that was your three attack. And you used your key point, right? <laughs> your con save of 12 removes the restrain. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Lucky, lucky assholes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then it is Squeebs' turn. Squeebs. Squeebs. Squeeb. 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 Uh. <laughs> Can we vote on making that our battle cry? Squeeb. 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 To our squeeb. So is there a. Uh, what's this right here that I've seen? Is that, is that chicken and the worms? Yeah, they're in the same space. Okay. Um, mm. Oh shit, I forgot to roll for. Uh, Oh, the guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I gotta roll here. See I don't know if I even care about that. Mm-hmm. Right. Dexterity. Yes, so. right. Lunch. Get your hand out of your pants. So and get to work. He rolled a 17 and he gets plus two, so he takes half. Uh, eight points of damage. Yep, yep. Um, All right. Lunt, wait, Lunt <laughs> yelps and like almost drops some coins, but he catches it because he rolled really good and he takes off around the corner over here. <laughs> <laughs> good man, he will be the boss. <laughs> All right. Uh, Squeeb, what are you doing? All right. So I look down this hallway to my left. I don't see anything. I don't think. Um, let's see. Buckle to. I see him looking down that hallway with a big grin, right? I think he told you something. Oh, yeah, you I, said I, something. I, I, I did say that I found some of our quarry down this direction, but uh, I didn't necessarily specify. I'm going to make some marks on the map so I can get rid of the spell effect. Yay! So I'll move here to see what I can see. Do you uh, see what I see? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have been muted. No. Okay. There we go. Now I can see. Okay. Oh, I do see. 
Am I waiting for Yandy? Should I wait? There, I want to move something? that so uh, so you guys could see down that tunnel because I think it was like right on top of the tunnel. Uh, Alright, so right, yeah, you're good. What do you want to do? Secret tunnel. So I see that guy. Secret, secret. Um, <laughs> I'm going to yell at him. Is he, is he looking at us? What do I see? Uh, down the right tunnel? Yeah. Uh, you see his back and ass as he is running through the hall. His back and ass. He's hauling his ass. Yell down the, there are two separate yell. things. Last chance to join us or you die. Um, Do I get a response? He's so, like, he's doubled over running and you just see, like, a finger like over his shoulder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what an A. And he's still like wildly, A finger or Z finger? Z finger. Uh he's still like wild uh, okay. his whistle as he's running. So he's just running. Yep. Mm. Okay. No, no, I'm just gonna run up right to him. Okay. So you run behind him. Death. <laughs> I'm run behind him with my yickle and just stab him right in the right in the bum hole. <laughs> Bum learning something. From, I remember uh, Shadow doing this to me. <laughs> You're learning something from Iris. Yeah. Oh, Iris did the trick. It works well when people are running away. <laughs> okay. So I'll stand with my Yikwa. Yikwa. Ah! See if it pops up. Did it pop up? No. Let me do it again. No? Hmm. Well, you maybe I'll throw it and see you work for me for some reason. You can just roll and tell me what it is. I'll do that. <laughs> All right. Steady. Oh, there it goes. Okay. 21. 21. 27. Rolling all the dice. Oh. Let's go with your first one is 21. So, then I'll roll damage. So I'll roll damage to that one. Roll that damage. I click. I'm clicking. I'm sorry, my computer is not working. Your slow internet. Yeah. Well, maybe I will roll that damage then. Yeah, you can either roll it like yourself, or you can roll just digitally on the uh, on the Beyond page and just tell me what it is. We don't we don't have to sit here okay. for the thing to go through. We'll say the only exceptions were if they finally go through, if it's a 1 and a 20 and we're still on your turn, I'll give you those rolls. All right, first one is 12 damage. Okay. And the second one... is 11 damage. Okay. And then I'll do my bonus action, box tackle. Spice him with his one little his wing blade. Well, you don't have to spend his bonus action. Is he like running through and you run up behind him and, and stab him from behind? Then you go your equal you goes uh, in his back and pierces along and you hear <laughs> he's trying to blow his whistle and he just dies. <laughs> <flying>. <laughs> 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 oh. he, he falls face down on the ground. His whistle slowly rolls off to the side. <laughs> oh, I want that whistle. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. uh, he, he's dead. <laughs> can I grab that whistle? Uh, yeah, you can, you can use your, your bonus action there to grab the whistle up. Lean down off box. Box type grabs it and flip, flicks it up to me with his beak. Yep. Yes. So. And then uh, you do see, like, once you've chased down your prey and looked up, you see um, the corridor goes on, uh, t- like, straight ahead of you and seems to, to turn further down. You see what might be another um, corridor to the north, just a little ways on your left. And see, it looks like at least a depression or something uh, on the right, a little ways ahead. 
Okay, I'm gonna have more movement. Can I use more movement? Yeah. Do you go check that out? Moved ten feet in there? Or was it more? Twenty? Five. Oh, I guess that's twenty. If you did that from there, it'd yeah. be twenty. So I've got Bok Tok has a forty feet. Okay. So I can move. Yeah, I'll just move by. 20, 30, 5, or 25, 35, 40. Well, I guess all I see. All right, I guess I don't really see much. Do I see, I see kind of a part of something, of somebody in there. <laughs> You're, uh, uh, one sec, I'll be back. Oh, I see, I, 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 I see, see a goblin. I could see the lighting update, but um, your character did not update. So I gotta, I'll be right back. Probably. Iris up so oh there we go just so they can see what he can see I don't see yeah I don't know where Squeeb ended up there he goes all right I see him now all right all right what were you asking Gary I was just trying to see, see what I can see I had to move my uh, scroll up a little bit yeah okay so. I think I see. I think I see two goblins, so I'm going to see you there. There's a, a little fire pit going in there, and you see another barrel uh, through that little entrance there, and you do see a goblin kind of milling around, the uh, one by the fire and one further back. He's, like, looking panicked, like, rushing around, looking like he's trying to find something. Um, most probably the, the whistle has alerted, like, everything in these these mines, these cave system that uh, something bad's happening. And, uh, yeah. All right. I, I yell back. At, I'll yell back at Buckle Tick. I'll be like, two goblins ahead. Okay. Uh, Shardo. I would like to bonus action Hunter's Mark number five. Okay. And take a sharpshooter shot at him. Let's see. Hunter's mark. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> Twenty four. Yeah, that hits. Damage. You weave your arrow between the bear, under the bear, and next to Iris, and smash this chicken cockatrice in the face. Sweet. Uh, Twenty-four damage. Uh, it looks. Uh, did I get the right one? I think I did. It looks dead. Is what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought he still had life left, but he did not. <laughs> No. The place yeah, where no. Ted was. <laughs> yeah. And I would like to take a sharpshooter shot at the red dot one. Okay. Natural 20. <gasps> I'm so glad Tarpoof here. <laughs> <laughs> that rocks. It's like the least excited natural 20 ever. I'm trying to do math. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 29. <laughs> 29 damage. Oh, yeah. You're, oh, man, guys, it sucks. It's just natural 20 as yeah, well. <laughs> your, your shot just blows into it and pins it against this spot where uh, Nick Nick was hiding in this wagon here. 
Yeah, there's a, there's just a, a chicken hanging by his neck at the uh, <laughs> at the wagon. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. That's super great. Uh, super. The shard of the wheat and things. Yeah. Alright. anything? I'll stay where I'm at. Alright. Nick Nick. Destroys legendary creatures, fade us away. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is Nick Nick? I am in the hallway. Right there. Oh, Precious is over top of you. Oh, uh, I can't see you. Naturally. <laughs> Sorry, I can't see you up there, so I just kind of guess. Hiding under the badger. Yeah. <laughs> There's a badger on her head. It's like, ah! <laughs> I can see a white Mustilla has you. You're a security badger. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. I. Uh, is number four. Does it look like number four is going to attack Shardo in the next turn or so? Number four? Um, let's see. I uh, guess it's a, a pretty good toss up between the the bear or Shardo, or it might decide to peck at the grubs that tried to infest it. So, would you say it's engaged? Yeah, it, it's engaged at least by the grubs. <laughs> yes, you can have advantage. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're getting. <clears throat> I mean, I don't have to. <laughs> no, it's it's engaged. Uh, I will take a pot shot. Do it up. Oh, that's not bad. A natural 16. Six. Plus 7. Uh, <clears throat> for the chicken guy. Twenty-three different hits. Okay. Yeah. Fourteen points of piercing damage. Fourteen. All right. That was with your sneak attack and everything. Cool. All right. Yes. Or 14 plus my dex. Uh, 18 points. Sorry. That's me. Okay. It, it, it looks like uh, it, it's damn near dead. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Which one's yeah. almost dead? Number four, the one that's in the rock grub oh, okay. space. Oh, okay. It looks pretty messed up. I can't I can't bonus action shoot it again. Right? You have the... I don't think I have that. The one feet? I I have no feet. Okay. Then I don't think you can. You have two feet. Two feet? <laughs> Y'all have two feet. <laughs> okay. I don't have four so right now, I guess. I will... Yeah. I heard Squeeb down that tunnel. So I will. I assume Precious is just riding on me. Or following. I just said. Riding, following. I can't see so, anything. So I don't know what, where to put him or anything. One, or he just ever screamed up. Just to cut Precious. You like to run with her in your arm. Like a blanket. 20. 25, 30. Okay, so I will run 30 feet towards the direction of Squeeb. But Squeeb down this hallway? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Although you just see a, a corpse of uh, Boss Jerkle laying on the ground at the moment. You don't see Squeeb. 
Ah, oh, good. He was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> when we were drunk, him and his stupid whistle. Uh, it was going to be fine. Oh, man. I thought you were calling Squeeve an asshole. Just holding on, to, <laughs> holding on to the badger talking. Everything was going to be fine. We were <laughs> partners. Why he had to be so stupid? <laughs> Nick, 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 Nick's trigger is a whistle. Nick, Nick's trigger is a whistle. I have many <laughs> triggers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, uh, okay. Mastella not being able to see anything is the bad part of uh, beast moding into something without dark vision. Well, I thought bears had dark vision, but I guess they don't. Maybe I should have been a cave bear. I wonder if they have dark vision. Wasn't there a bunch of stuff that lightened up that room? <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was yeah. a bunch of fires and stuff. One of the rooms. Oh, okay. You can't be a cave bear yet. Hmm. Okay. So if I go into the tunnels, do I just not see anything? Do I just bumble around and uh, I don't know, we'll have to find out. <laughs> That's where I use my smell. Yeah. Keen smell. Maybe smell of it. Maybe uh, Iris can pull you along by your tail and lead you through. Oh, she has a seeing eye rat, and I'll have a seeing eye Iris. A seeing eye. <laughs> so yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a rat leading a goblin, leading, leading a bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> right. Just needs a hole at the bottom of the sea and it's perfect. <laughs> There's a hole. Uh, There's a hole. Next turn. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Let's <laughs> uh, go hold here. Uh, 30. Uh, and he will. Uh, <coughs> he will. Let's see. Mastella is or Mastella and Iris are the only ones you can see, so I'll roll to see who he goes after. Uh Iris, odds or evens. What? Odds or evens. Odds or even? Mmm, odd. Alright, Mastella. Um roll a D eight for me. A D eight? Yep. I don't know why you choose your own food. Choose my own food. Well, uh, three. Three. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Hell no. Uh, this kobold uh, rumbles around in its belongings and pulls out a uh, this weird looking little wicker basket thing, takes it in two hands, and just launches it your way. Um, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. James, you know what this is, don't you? I'm not saying shit. <laughs> Sorry. This is awesome. Kobolds and wicker baskets are not good. <laughs> it's the Martha Stewart of Kobolds. <laughs> Freaking heck of a <laughs> wicker basket right here. Oops. Do that. Not the bees. <laughs> Not the bee. Oh, it's a wicker man. <laughs> Not the bees. Yes. I stay. Ah, they're staking my eyes. Ah, ah. <laughs> wow, I got this. <laughs> that scene kills me every time. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh boy. James, I need to send you a song later. It's it's all about Nicolas Cage and all of his performances. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize how many movies he's been in that were... Oh, yeah. He's, oh, I can't pull out. Uh, artistic. <laughs> creative. Centipedes. Interesting. Uh, that is uh, a basket that is thrown uh, at you, Masella. The basket hits and the lid goes flying off and a swarm of centipedes comes pouring out on the ground. Under the oh. Ew, 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 ew. No. no. <laughs> Please, no. Oh, Shardo Fames. 
There's those. Let's see. So it is in your space, Mastella. And make sure. Rolls initiative. Sorry. Can I just step on them? Just stomp on them? Oh, they're they're pretty fun. big centipedes. Save me one. She's, She's a big bear. It's a medium a swarm, a tiny beast. Uh, 11 HP. Oh, never mind. They're not that big. Just lick them. Oh, they're, they're big. Just lick them up. Just take a big bear leg. Oh, <laughs> and lick a whole swarm. And uh, Mm. (laughs) Okay, so um, (laughs) they are on initiative 21 because they rolled a natural 20. So I'll have to remember that. Who is a gooty? A gooty tits? A gooty tits. Is that who we're talking about? That was my rat witch. <laughs> oh. I remember the rat witch. I, I remember the What was your name? <laughs> um, all right, so that was that kobold's turn. The second kobold, <clears throat> for fear of, you know, more... More things. So did something growing. happen to me, or no? Like there's what? just a swarm of centipedes uh, milling around in your area, but nothing's happened yet. Okay. They, they go on their initiative, which is twenty-one. Uh, the second kobold, let's see, he comes over, and let's see, we'll let uh, Mustella call odds or evens again this time. <laughs> odds uh. or evens. Um, does it even matter? <laughs> Odds, I guess. Um, Alright, so it's targeting uh, Iris. Iris, roll a d8. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> uh, roll again. Alright. Um... So he uh, reaches in a little belt pouch. This is like the Batman of kobolds here. Grabs a little <gasps> vial and hurls a vial. Uh, Sharp oh, no. 18 hit you. Yes. 18 hits you. Did you hear how excited he sounded about that? I know. Uh-huh. I want you guys to live and thrive. <laughs> So you take 10 acid damage when the flask hits you and acid spills out over top of you. That's not shark repellent. <laughs> it's, it's fart oh, repellent. <laughs> Don't get it in your eyes! Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> the kobold yells at you. Rub it in your eyes. <laughs> rub it in your eyes. Burn. Just rub it in there a little bit. He put pee on me. (laughs) (laughs) I feel burn when he pees. Why? (laughs) All right, those are the the kobolds. It burns when he pees. Uh, Buckle tip. Burning. All right, so I guess I saw Squeeb go down this hallway after he uh, dispatched uh, Sir. Whatever, uh, Dickle or whatever, Dickle Pickle, whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> Drickle? <laughs> Drickle, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. It's a dick trickle. Trickle. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, actually, move me. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Before I even move, I was right there, or was I right there? I can't remember where the hell I was. I was right there. Okay, I was right, right there. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to take... Uh, can I see the kobold from here? Because I, I, it looks like I have the, like, the light of, light, line of sight on him. Oh. So I'm just wondering about any of the other crap in the way. 
You let's see. Within 35 feet, uh, Precious is in the way, uh, the cockatrice and the rock grub swarm, all of which is relatively low to the ground, so it would take something terrible happening for you to hit anything in the line of sight there. Uh, Didn't Nick Nick move Precious somewhere? Nick Nick, did you move Precious? Uh, you sure. you, you, did, you I, did say you were carrying her like yeah. she was a baby yeah. or something like she was your protective blanket. Yeah, she <laughs> precious is, is my security badger right now. Was that Nick Nick saying that? <laughs> or was that boobs again, like, like, like when you were riding Sea Star that one time. <laughs> All right, fine. We'll say that <laughs> as precious. Yeah. Oh, Sea Star was. Mastella, Mastella oh, turned into a horse. So Nick Nick held Precious in her boobies oh, while we were traveling. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to aim at this kobold. Oh, yeah, Nick Nick was in like a feed bag. No, Buckle Tick was in a feed yeah, bag. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be comfortable and I was like getting smacked up against like the chest of the horse. Like, <laughs> But uh, I'll, I'm just going to take uh, two Eldritch Blasts at a coal, uh, Inventor Cobalt 1. Thank you. It seemed like a good idea at the time, though, right? Yeah. Why not? All right, <laughs> go ahead. It was like a hammock. Fourth hammock. Yeah, fourth hammock. Uh, you know what? Uh, Sun some mm-hmm. Blasts. Damn, I'm I, okay. I'm stuck between either Eldritch Blast. Uh, you know, screw it. Eldritch Blast. Sabotage. First one. Water. 18 for the first hit. Uh, 18 hits. And then for the second hit, uh, 24. That doesn't do his second. Lies. <laughs> I can smell lies on you. <laughs> All your damage. Okay. So 12 for the first one. And Jesus. And 10 for the second. <laughs> Nice, that 12. So, until the kobold and all of his shit and his inventions will scatter across the ground. <laughs> as, as soon as I see the kobold just drop, I was like, hey, and I start running down this hallway to where, <laughs> where Squeeb went. <laughs> 25, 30. There, I'm just standing over the corpse of Dribble or Drickle, whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> it's Dick <laughs> Dribble now. Dick Drickle. <laughs> His name is Dick Trickle. <laughs> he was an asshole. <laughs> that's uh, that's your turn then, Buckle Tick? Yes, indeed. I uh, kill <laughs> and run. Uh, let's see. Cockatrice one, I think, is gone, right? We only have number four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think four is the only one that's left. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the only one left. It's got like barely any any HP is it tries to like shuffle in here and goes to attack Shardo, the weak little lunge. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, well, the 16 gets plus three, 19 hit you Shardo. Yep. 19 hits you for five damage total. And then I need a constitution saving throw from you. Nine. Shardo, you are restrained. And your skin and muscles start to harden. This cockatrice on a single hit point is still doing things. What an ass. Um, Let's see. Oh, you know what? Actually, it may not. One second, I forgot. The uh, the rock the grubs. It. The grubs, yeah. They attack it before it moves out. But they don't hit. They hmm. nine. Okay. Um, so it's the only cockatrice so far. Mustella. Um, Mustella Farbreath. No, it's not... That stink death. <laughs> Mustella stink death. 
I like Martin Rath better. Potato, tomato. <laughs> so, um, is that cockatrice actually in the cave? So, it, it's what? right in the entrance there. So, so you <laughs> you can still hit it like you were. Uh, you're still right next to it in that square. Um, what about with lightning? Mm, so, like if I, if like you, say I move, like I don't know, like here-ish or something, and I, can I drop the lightning here in the square, and it would hit the cockatrice <laughs> and the grubs uh, if it's there? Uh, yeah, I'll allow it. I got, um, I've got uh, Lady Marcella's art up to while well, you're doing your attack. Do you? Yeah. With Precious the Badger. Ah, uh, so cute. Um, okay, I think. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. I see yeah. her nipple. Okay. <laughs> uh, the, the blue thing on the side. Like an iron vine. This is just like, where is the Irish Giver? Oh. After ripping them off of the, what was it you ripped them off of? The merman. A merman. Yeah. Oh, ripped boy. the nipples off a of merman and gave her a blue friendship nipple. <laughs> <laughs> right next to the friendship armband. <laughs> In the friendship badger. <laughs> <laughs> the friendship badger. All right. Uh, you're calling your lightning down. I guess so. Yes. I don't want that cockatrice around anymore. It causes too many problems. DC. Proud. He's going to die even if he succeeds. So it'll take half. So that kills him. Okay. Um, what about the grubs? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, they get negative two. Hold an eight. So they fail and take all of it. Uh, yeah, you can roll for it. Um, is it higher than six? Yes. Yeah, they're gone. My slow mathing. The remaining six pop and blow up. <laughs> <laughs> is that exactly what they sounded like to you when it happened? Uh, I would have been like six of. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they sound like farts? It's because they're in Iris's aura. Everything that dies around Iris just sounds like a fart. Yeah. Can Iris fart in return as a good job? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and a good job fart. And Mastella um, turns to face it. Turns to face with a fart? Yep. <laughs> no. no. Does she have that, uh, that feet where she can smell? Keen smell. Keen smell. Yeah. I'm breathing. Keen smell. Shall receive, huh? Mm. <laughs> All right. That's not what I want a keen smell. <laughs> All right. Mastella, can you tell what I had for breakfast? Oh, uh, you still have to it. Tell what you had for breakfast seven days ago. What was it? What did you have for breakfast? Let's let's go. Probably bar guest has to go on Twitter or something. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's like Step Brothers. Is that a uh, onions and ketchup? Now I can taste it on my tongue. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's terrible. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You still have uh, your movement if you want to move. Um, I don't know that I need to. This cold yet. down here is still alive. If you can. <laughs> um, I do, but I don't know if that really affects where I'm standing. I guess. I think I'll just stay where I am because I can't think of anywhere better to stand. I don't want to block the cave either, so I think I'll just stay where I'm at. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You can have the mini features from your class race or other stars. Pretty hmm? 
Oh, okay. I was making sure um, your dark vision did not go with you, and it doesn't. I have a question real quick about reaction stuff. Yes. So, when actually do you use... When do you use reactions? Whenever whenever that triggers it. So... How do we know? So I guess you just tell us or something. Well, what's what are you trying to do? And I'll call you know. I'm just looking at the Warcaster thing that says you can use your reaction to make an opportunity attack to cast a spell that has a casting time of one action and targets only that creature. Uh, yeah. So your attack of opportunity would would be when something like moves away from you, right? When something is. Um, so that's what the reaction is. Yeah, that's what would trigger it for you. Is anytime okay. you would be granted an attack of opportunity, then you can use your warcaster feet to uh, to cast a spell. Whereas okay. normally you'd only be able to do a melee attack, warcaster lets you cast a spell at it instead. Dope. Okay. That's super dope. Right. Dope. And you're done with your movement and stuff. I think so. Yes. Okay. Um, Iris. What? Are, how, okay, how many centipedes? They swarm. Mm. <laughs> it's a, it's a swarm. medium-sized, gross swarm of centipedes. Like, does it count as one entity when you oh. attack it, or? There's, there's like special rules for a swarm, which Matt will <laughs> not be reading I, about right now. Can I use my astral arm to grab one? And shove it into my bag. Your hang on, <laughs> hang on. I want to. Yeah, you can do things with your astral arms. It says there's things you can do other than fighting with them. Oh. Where are the fingers? Yeah, so you're, you don't exactly have a thumb on your mushroom dick arms here. Can I got, throw, like you know the very tips of them? Chopstick them with my. <laughs> like that I mean, she's got a scoop spare, the dick hole. She's got a spare finger on her cord there. Yeah, the little opening at the tip of the mushrooms. Yeah. And just kind of chopstick together, that. and then I can use my actual hands to open the bag and close it. Oh, god damn it. Uh, this is like your whole action. <laughs> yeah. What the centipede? I want it so bad. I hope you roll a one, but go ahead and try. <laughs> what do I roll? Uh, dexterity check. We'll, we'll, we'll have you do a dexterity check. No, no, not a anything but that kind of grab. Um, <laughs> here, the tip grab just oh. reaches forward and pinches around a centipede and tentacles its way back into your bag for you, and you drop it. Uh, you dropped yes. a centipede from the swarm. <laughs> I dropped it? Into the bag. Oh, okay. Sorry. Cut out for a second. Yeah, that's I what you're trying scared. to do. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, you weren't like the claw machine where it gets like right in front of the bag and drops it before it gets in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the ultimate fuck you. Um, all right. Uh, you still have movement and a bonus action if you want. <laughs> Damn it, a dick arm claw machine. <laughs> oh, I I think I want to back away from the swarm because I can't hit them with a bonus action, can I? No, because I think you can only use your bonus action when you make an unarmed attack, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'll just I'll move up uh, between Mastella and Charto. Okay. Uh, Squeeb? Blocking the cave? Oh no, you're not really blocking the cave. Squeeb? Squeeb? I guess I will make my way through, up through. Actually, maybe I should check. In there. So there's five, ten. I don't see anybody there. 15, 20, 25. Oh, crap. So. <laughs> nobody else can see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just for a Yeah, I have no idea what's happening up there. I can't tell anybody either. Uh oh. 
25. 30. Okay, okay, that's 25 there. 25. All right, then I will. Well, this changes what I was going to do. Give me one moment, though. Do you have, what, four on your screen, Darren? Yeah. Okay, your thing isn't updating all the time for me, so. All right, so I think uh, Okay, so input. Okay, I'm gonna reach into my bag oh. and pull out. <laughs> reach into my Vargas ball sack bag and pull out uh, one of my mechanical dung beetles. Oh. I'm gonna wind it up. And its wings are gonna start to flutter and fly. And it has, the abdomen is like a vial of green. Glowing green. I'm gonna send it flying into the air towards uh, the group of the three there. Yeah. Um, this is gonna be so it's gonna fly at them, and I'm I'm hoping it works this time. Every time I've tried this this invention, it doesn't work. So it's it's gonna spray fairy fire. It's gonna attempt to fly over the top of them and just douse them with uh, the glowing green liquid. All right, mm. that is a. 20... That's a deck save of 15. Is that a 20-foot radius? Uh, range... Each object in a 20-foot cube. Yeah. Oh, so I could hit that guy at the top, too. Yeah. Yep, that's what I was asking. Right on. All right. Cool. Uh, deck save... Uh, what did you say it was? Uh, 15. 15. Give me one second. All right, so let me number these guys here. I love this. I love that they can't see what you're doing up here. Yeah, what's going on? This is bullshit. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, really, uh, so number one succeeds. Number two fails. Uh, I guess I should keep track of this. Um... And Sharta wouldn't be able to see that far, would he? I don't think he can see up here. Should I move Iris to work with this? <clears throat> All right, number two can see. Number three succeeds, and number four also succeeds. Well, you got one that time. <laughs> Worth a shot, Carol. Only one? Only one. Number Only two. one, got it. Number two with the exclamation points. Yay! Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, oh, oh. Shard of Please work. Right <laughs> uh, is that it for you then? Yeah, I guess I don't have any bonus action stuff I can do. Iris, what are you doing up there? I'm trying to figure out where you are that he would see. Did you say All right, that? Then, uh, I'm going to actually move back. So I can see, uh, I guess not getting for me either. Do I see buckle pick from where I'm at? Where you're at when you cast that? No. If you slide. Uh -oh. oh, I slid back. Okay, now, okay, now I can see buckle pick. Yeah, now you can see buckle pick. Okay. I see him. I'm going to move back <laughs> here and, and tell what I, what I saw and that there's a. What is there? Three, there's four. Four goblins around the corner. Get them. And I'll, <laughs> I'll uh, send Sharto an updated picture for the map. Oh, okay, that for work, right? One oh wait, are we supposed to recruit these guys? They resist. No prisoner. Should we ask them or should we kill them? <laughs> What did you do? Uh, I squirted them with bug juice. <laughs> did you do it <laughs> nicely? Be sticky forever. I don't did you, know. Did you do it nicely, or did you do it as a as as a as a negative way? I don't know. 
uh, preparation for killing. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and he telepathically shit. asks them to surrender, and if they don't kill him, <laughs> well, let's see well, how they <laughs> let's see how they roll initiative. We could kill them, and then usurp the entire clan, being the most powerful goblins there are. Mm. A squeeb. Yeah. I can make myself look like uh, old Brickle Dick here. All right. Shardo. Oh, I have his whistle. You should be updated now, Shardo. <laughs> Got a king or right. squeeb. So it is uh, Shardo's turn then. I hand you the whistle. <laughs> and these uh, kobolds are moving in, right? And this one's attacking. Um, two was throwing stuff, right? Yeah, two is the asshole. Yep, two is the one I think that had thrown the centipedes. Is this guy doing anything? Nope, he was one of the ones that when the fight first started, uh, <laughs> actually, I think it was exactly half half the kobolds and half the goblins decided to take up arms against you guys, and the other half all backed up and let you guys do your, do your own thing. Um, Because they were trying to persuade everybody to join them and not fight, so half of them kind of seem like they're uh, they're thinking about and just kind of you know seeing how things go. Especially because they watched the group nuke most of them in one shot or less. <laughs> and very persuasive. This is the other asshole doing stuff, right? Nope. Um, you He's a nice guy. One. This one yeah, talked to Mistella and was talking to her about the skunk that's in the cage on his back. All right. He hasn't done anything. Just the one with the number. Wait, Kobold one died, didn't he? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm going to Hunter's Mark bonus action, move it to number two. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Sharpshooter. Do it up. 15. Uh, yeah, that has I afraid it's gonna hit me. <laughs> Little did Iris know today was the day she would die. <laughs> 23 hits. <laughs> 23 damage. 23 damage, yeah. Um, <laughs> so for uh, so for flavor, mm. roll your D20 again. <laughs> Seven. Uh, uh. Seven? No. Okay. So your arrow blasts him against the, the wagon here and uh the cart. I was gonna see if you, you hit the, the chicken with that arrow too, but this one's pinned the kobold's pinned right next to the chicken. So <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, and you yes. just I'll sharp shoot the side piece. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Oh, uh, this is I think. Wait. Oh, I... Uh, yeah, that's a miss. You, you like fire into the swarm, but your arrow doesn't doesn't find anything. It just hits the ground. <laughs> All right. Shadow, what are you doing? <laughs> Hurry up and go. <laughs> Are you staying there? <laughs> Shardo? Doesn't Shardo need to make a save? Oh, yeah. Actually, he does. I forgot. Is that going to when the pocket trees dies or anything? Nope. It's a condition that stays. Mm. Give me a con save, Shardo. Yeah. Okay. You're good. You lose the condition. Good. You can move if you would like. Yeah. Oops. Put you in the wall. I'll move there. Okay. Hi, Sharto. Hurry up and go. <laughs> Nick Nick. 
Behind us is where all the people are. And I really don't want to deal with that. Squeeb is leader. So I will go and see what he's up to. Oop. Follows the squeeb. I do. Ah, I'm stuck. Five, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30. Uh, still carrying precious, I would imagine. Okay. <laughs> it's a big old security precious. <laughs> what are we doing? What's going on? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Quiet scream. <laughs> just hold precious up to my mouth. Just go. <laughs> it, so- it sounds like the turtle humping a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it for Nick? <laughs> Nick Nick. Okay, I heard oined, and I'm trying to decide whether you said joined or conjoined, which is a whole different subject. <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, that's <laughs> why. That's it for me. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just know. trying to figure out what's going on. I don't know who said joined or conjoined. Uh, I don't know either. Garen cut out at the last moment, so... I haven't been able to hear him for a minute. Uh, That was... (laughs) Uh, B is dead. So he's gone. Um, Buckle tick. Alright. Looking at old uh, Drickle on the ground. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm going to use my action to mask him any faces to look like him. Because Squeeb came out saying there's goblins in here. And he says, maybe you can do something about that. So I'm going to make myself look like Drickle. And I am going to try some face man shit. All right. What is... Wait, wait, hold on. Five, ten. Shit, where was I? One, two. All right, so that that's as far as I can go into it, into the cavern, with my full thirty feet, and I'm just gonna attempt to do an impersonation of Drickle. <laughs> what does your mask of many faces do for you? Uh, let me look that up. Um, it's like a fr- free disguise self. Yeah, yeah, at will disguise self, shape changing. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, to discern that I am disguised, a creature can use its action to inspect my appearance and must succeed on an intelligence investigation check against my spell safe DC, which is 15, if that's what you were looking for. If if you wanted to have them look me over like, wait, what's up? DC 15. Where is your whistle? <laughs> It's a beef whistle. Oh, I, I gave him the whistle. Yes. <laughs> I shoved it firmly up my anus. <laughs> I'll turn around and smack you with my ring hand. <laughs> whistle with my bump. Gregory Peck. Okay. So you uh, adopt the the form of uh, Boss Drickle. Mm-hmm. And you're going into this room and doing what now? And I'm going to attempt to have them... Oh yeah! Wait, uh, you walk in here, yeah. and uh, first you see the uh, you see the three by the fire immediately. Um, mm-hmm. The room is like softly lit in firelight, but you notice the uh, number two over here. You yeah. see him uh, lined in like green and purple and blue uh, swirling flames, and you see the one 
uh, the one that's covered in these flames. Like he's frantically like trying to pat himself out, and the other two are like number three there. He's like patting him and laughing the whole time, and he's like kind of amazed and laughing that his hands <laughs> passing through the flames and nothing's happening. And number one is just pointing and laughing. It, like he's he's just like gut wrench laughing. Like he's doubled over in in like painful laughter at at two's freak out. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. I'm I'm guessing Drickle was a bit of an asshole, so I'm so I'm just gonna say, you idiot! It's just an illusion. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, they turn and face you, and uh-huh. they um they immediately like snap up and uh, they like stop laughing and immediately go straight faced. Like oh, oh, oh we're, we're, we're sorry, boss. We thought he was on fire. We <laughs> <laughs> thought he was on fire. <laughs> the flames! The flames! Damn it. Okay. Uh, can I say anything else? Or yeah. I, I, okay. you, you see number two, <laughs> as they were saying, like, they were sorry and they thought he's on fire. You see number two, like, holding his arm out and like, he's watching the flames go over. He's just waving it around. He's like, see? I, I'm okay. It doesn't even burn. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go as Drickle. I want you to go down to the main mine. I want you to go to the entrance of the mine, have your arms up in the air, and say, don't shoot. Buckle Tick sent me. Oh, look at We're you. getting new recruits. Oh, oh go sorry. ahead, man. I thought you were done. Oh, but, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm just say, <laughs> I say that saying... We have new recruits, but they can't discern too well friend from foe. They're weird. They're strange. (laughs) Just say Buckle Tick sent you. And with any luck, they won't go mad and uh, decapitate you on the way in. So just be careful and have your arms in the air. (laughs) And wave them like you just don't care. care. (laughs) Damn it, I knew it was going to happen. They're they're really confused. Boss, uh, who's Buckle, Buckle... Buckle Tick, Buckle Tick, what was his name? Who's that guy? <laughs> Buckle Tick. <laughs> the hand is the devil. <laughs> He's the new leader. They whisper around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle Tick. <laughs> God damn. Buckle Tick is a major benefactor, and he will help fund these mines with the Totalden city. Now a we f- need to get everybody what? out of the mines. What now? A I'm sorry. What? He's gonna pay us a lot of money. <laughs> oh, then, then you see the lights go on, and they're like, oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. And slowly start making their way out, and the, like he, he keeps uh, quite far away from you. Uh, now, <laughs> and I do, I do say, say buckle six and you, make sure your arms are in the air, and say, uh,. <laughs> <laughs> say your loyalty is in Totalden. Those words specifically. Hey, okay, boss, we got it. And they, they, <laughs> they put their arms up in the air oh, no. and uh, they start walking out. Um, <laughs> I quickly stand out. over the dead body and sit down with with Boktok, trying to cover the body with Boktok. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got to hide the body first. <laughs> 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 uh, this is not your turn, oh, though, no. <laughs> oh, it is not. The problem is, yeah, it's, it's not your turn, and you are not uh, in position to hide the body. So they come around the corner, and they see. Uh, they first they see you, or well, actually, first they see uh, Nick Nick cowering against the wall on the other side. Because I don't believe you're still hidden, right, Nick Nick? I'm hiding behind a badger. <laughs> So you're not hidden. Got it. Um, <laughs> they, they a badger is cowering against the wall, and he's kind of puzzled, but he doesn't say anything. Then he goes to turn and walk, and he almost runs smack into this robotic devil chicken with a crazy asshole sitting on top. And <laughs> he stops and he shoots his arms in the air, and he says, "But buckle tick, but that uh, the tech guy sent me for told told him <laughs> don't shoot but tech guy." Yeah. And he, you good? He, he tries to fly over. Down. <laughs> Watch out for that imposter on the floor. 
Damn doppelgangers. He, he gets around and he, he sees somebody laying face down on the ground. This somebody hasn't been looted, so he still has all of his gear on him. Uh, he... Let's see. One second. Don't trim. <laughs> um, Our blood right there. <laughs> Um, oh, well, that's a natural one for him. So he, he moseys on down this way and, and doesn't think twice about the, the dead body on the ground. <laughs> this one, uh, the Nick Nick and uh, Squeeb, you see kind of a, a puzzling sight. Well, maybe not Squeeb because you knew what you were trying to do. Uh, Nick Nick, you see this like blue, green, purple flamed goblin come out this hallway like towards you. I'm not sure what that does to Nick Nick's psyche here, but it's a <laughs> mystically flaming goblin. Well, let me let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you that good? You rolled a five. Uh, I'm on fire. And he's screaming he's into the back of her. <laughs> Uh, he looks at the dead body that's very clearly lying there and he doesn't really think twice about it. <laughs> and the last one comes out. He's also got his arms up. He ambles past you guys. And, well, none of them care about the dead body on the floor. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank God they're stupid. <laughs> For lower levels. <clears throat> Holy shit, they fell for it. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's, your uh, <laughs> yep, that, that's, that's all I can do. All right. That was a talk. We beat Larry, Curly, and Mo. <laughs> <laughs> um, Poor little guys. <laughs> Look, I'm on fire. <laughs> Mastella, the Fodder Brothers. <laughs> um, Calling Dr. Howard, Dr. Fire, Dr. Howard. <laughs> so the only thing left is the centipedes out here. Yeah, the ones that I keep forgetting to move. Oh. <laughs> I, I was just about to ask are, are they even able to move off that spot? They can. I just keep forgetting to. Whoops. Can I lightning bolt him? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can lightning bolt them. DC 50. Uh, they have a plus one dex. Okay. Natural one. Yeah. Oh, my Drista is <laughs> not on fire today. Did you, did, did the Sharto slash Jake switch it on you? Sharto gave With it his dice died? puppies. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I dropped him instead of rolling him. <laughs> yes. And I missed it because I can't see anything. The light my light is so bright and like <laughs> anyway, it's uh I'm trying to tell oh it's a nine. No oh this is a lot. Let's see, nineteen. No, oh, that's a knock. This is a lot. 26, 26 damage. Yep. It took me a minute to math because I can't math, dude. Yeah, your lightning strike hits the middle of the, uh, <clears throat> the centipede swarm. It hits down a big old thunder crack, and you see flaming bugs just go arcing out <laughs> from the spot. Just You get showered by a couple of them. Estella gets a, a couple french fried uh, centipedes on her. The <laughs> other one, or uh, not Mastella, Iris. Iris gets some French fries and a pee bar. Other ones just <laughs> blasting out this way over here. Like what? If you want. Mustella snorts in happiness. <laughs> this bear that just raises a paw and calls down lightning. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. All right. Um, How can anyone doubt that she is a goddess? <laughs> <laughs> she is a god badger bear. Like bear. Alright. She is a bear badger that's been blessed by Thor. <laughs> you have uh, movement if you would like. I would like to, but I don't think I can get in the cave yet. Okay. Um, can, um, you, oh, 
Can you end your bear form as a, a bonus action? I think I, you know, I don't actually know if you can end it. I, I know you can use it to go in. Wild shape, yeah? Yeah, I think you can end yeah. it at will or as a bonus what a bonus action. Act, or is it just at will? Let's see. Um, Matthew's on the case. I just so happened to actually have it with me this time. Druid, wild shape. Oh, I see it. It is as a bonus action. I just caught it. Okay. Just found it when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can back that up. So it is a bonus to, action. Uh, to poof out a bear form? Um, can I actually walk by them if I wasn't in bear form? You can still get by them if you want. I mean, I'd hope that unless Shardo was trying to deny you entrance to the tunnel, uh, or Iris was, that you could get by them. They'd Excuse me, guys. I got to poof out of bear. So <laughs> if I stayed in bear form, I couldn't fit, it looks like. Fit in there? Okay. I could fit in there? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm pat her little bear butt as she goes by. <laughs> No, the only problem is I can't see anything, so I'm debating on coming out of bear form because I can't see anything. Um, I can't see. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bear. I guess, um, no dark vision. <laughs> I guess I will put this action, come out of bear form, so I can see where I'm going. Oh. And my stall appears. Oh my gosh, look, there's things. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know where anybody is, do I? <laughs> no, because nope. you weren't in here to see uh, where they went. Um, do I hear anything? Like, can I tell from, or can I smell where they went? <laughs> <laughs> sure, you can roll a uh, perception smell check. Perception smell check. <laughs> the description of the smell. <laughs> it, do I get it with advantage or just normal? Nah, just normal for this one. It's only 10 then. Only 10? Yeah. Uh, you can tell that everybody was in this hallway. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I, I mean, um, it's I guess something. So. <clears throat> um, so how far do I see you? Can I see that far? So if I moved like here, can I? Oh, I see how it works. Okay. Um, I wasn't keeping track of my movement. How far did I move? Let's see. Uh, five. Like 15, I think. Let's see, five. Uh, where was I? I forgot where I was at when I was outside. I think, oh, uh, when you were out here? Yeah. When I was in Ferris Bar, I forget where I was at. 20 feet. So I moved 20 feet? Yep. So I could move 25. <clears throat> Let's see. Here, I think? Oh my god, what is happening down there? <laughs> 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 Nothing to see here. Move it on. Move it on. <laughs> you yeah, you see three goblins. One of them is on fire. <laughs> one yeah, one's on fire with uh, some eldritch flames. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, oh, but I do see. I see Precious and Nick Nick, and I wave. I wave to Precious and Nick Nick. Precious safe. Precious is probably looking at you. Nick Nick's <laughs> face is buried. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess that's all I can do for my turn, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> DM. You. I have a question. Yeah. So the three goblins over here, they saw me, but Mr. Number Four didn't see me over here? Uh, let me see. Which one is four? Or am I not far enough to see it? You're not maybe? far enough to see Oh, uh, okay. He's a bit deeper in the cave. No, I'll say since you're still in that that tunnel and there's a barrel of water there, he didn't quite see you. 
Okay. But he didn't hear me yell at the eyes. AKA I didn't catch it at the time. So he's just chilling okay. back there ignoring you. Okay. <clears throat> I'll kill him next, next round. <clears throat> it's fine. I'll set him on fire in his sleep. <laughs> all right, that's all. Sorry. Okay. By the gods. Uh, that's my Stella's turn. <laughs> By the gods. Iris. All right, so I can move 45 feet. The 30 is there. So, that's I- a vast so uh, Iris, when you go to measure like that, if you want to like go around corners or see, um, you get to the, the point that you want to go to, then yeah. click. And then you, it'll leave a point that you can. Oh, that's cool. Neat. Thank you, Andy. Oh. All right. So I'm going to Naruto run. Yeah. And as I go by Mastella, you go down in my own. For Naruto running. I'm going to make my little doll kiss her on the cheek and then keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Mastella is mildly grossed out. <laughs> Karen, your camera freezes and it looks like you're posing. It does. It, it goes from you doing this, then you're like doing this. It just looks like you're you're posing for the camera. <laughs> it's doing it's doing the Vogue. <laughs> Vogue. Um, exactly. And I'm gonna get too hot. Down. Hot damn. Call the what in the world is happening in Call here? the police and the fire, man. <laughs> you see those same three goblins that are just marching through the, the tunnel with their arms up and uh, uh, Ouija, whatever the shit, uh, sees the one. Ouija Bobo. Ouija Bobo. Squeegee Bottle. Squeegee Bottle. Squeegee Bottle. Squeegee Bottle. rat. Uh, squeegee butthole, the singing guy rat, uh, sees the three god ones, and uh, the one's on fire. Uh, the rat turns and looks at you, and you, you see yourself looking at the rat. <laughs> you're, you're right. That's gonna be what a hell of a vertigo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you like to do? Shardo, why? What? What was that roll for, Shardo? What roll? The 20 that you just rolled. I didn't roll anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Is it in Beyond? It's in Beyond. Oh. So- oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What are you plotting? Nothing. Last roll I had Beyond the on save. Hmm. <laughs> Weird. It popped up saying you rolled a 20. Huh. Interesting. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, what are you doing up there, <laughs> Iris? <laughs> he, he's just—he's still got his arms up. He's like, uh, the buckle, buckle, t- buckle. That guy. Uh, he sent us. Let me to go to Tolton. 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 Yeah. Come to the turtle. Yeah. <laughs> but don't just confuse. Don't kill me, please. No, and I pat him on the head with my. My mushroom. Astral mushroom arms. Wiffle ball bat. Winks each time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it's we D4 take force our- damage every time. Just <laughs> <laughs> and I'll point to Mustella and be like, she queen, do not make her mad. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, that's the end of my turn. <laughs> Squeeb, it's your turn. Squeeb, squeeb, squeeb. My is queen. My is God. My is life. <laughs> I guess squeeb. <laughs> oh, I'm next to. I might as well loot the body next to me. Uh, maybe wait around. <laughs> At least until those guys are out of the way. <laughs> no, I'll just loot it right now. Okay, just go make ahead. sure not to show the face. That's uh, good. All right. Or just rip the face off. <laughs> Actually, all these guys are dead, so I can get out of this. Uh, you guys can. Uh, we don't have to stay in initiative order anymore. Yay! So I'll say that. Uh, these guys make their way down. 
Um, Shardo, you see three goblins come down the tunnel at you. They all have their arms up and they they see you oh, no. and they all say, "No hurts, no hurts." The buckle guy sent us. He, he said to go to the turtle. I don't know. The lady with the the, <laughs> the eye cover says turtle. The other guy says told the whole golden. Uh, one of the goblins you see is on fire. Um, some kind. ravioli. <laughs> you know what the fire is. Uh, you, it, it's fairy fire. You've seen it used more than a few times. All right, I'll just move up next to Mustela, and if they're in my way, I'm going to shoulder check every one of them. Show them who's boss. They actually all move out of your way. <laughs> You purposely move in their way to show them and check them out. <laughs> and when they get out of the tunnel, I just want to put like a rose, three or four arrows just at the end. Do what? Oh, yeah. Once they leave this tunnel, I want to just put like three or four arrows at the end of it. All right, at the end of the one on the right, or the one like at the entrance. This one here. Okay. Just so I know not to come in there, or they'll die. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right, you've marked that. Jacob, up. you are smart. I'm not putting them by hand. I'm shooting them with Sharto authority. I got you. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, respect my authority. Roll, uh, roll four. Roll D twenty four times. <laughs> like I'm actually shooting. Uh, nah, just just straight D twenty roll and tell me if you get any ones. Thirteen, sixteen, nine, ten. All right, good. You sink them all on the ground just fine. Squirt. Uh. I run over just squeeb after placing precious down and go ah, they're so strong that one was on fire it didn't flinch <laughs> ah! uh, no it's uh, n- uh, never mind Nick <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like is so brand new to magic it's just like ah 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 <laughs> it's okay. Uh, uh, old feather. Old Vaptox feather. Squeeb, uh, you can. <laughs> <laughs> you see any? Um, you, you can loot the uh, Drickle if you want. Yes, please. Alright, so go ahead and roll an uh, investigation check. Investigate. Go. I got twenty two. Alright. Uh he has uh a uh scimitar. He has uh, one more javelin on him. He has Ooh, I'll take a javelin. A chain javelin. shirt that's javelin. well punctured because you ran him through. <laughs> <laughs> and a uh small shield. And then you're uh, 22, you're digging through his pockets. And uh, <laughs> yeah, good save. Uh, <laughs> um, you're rifling through his pockets, you find uh, a set of manacles and uh, a whip attached to his belt. Ooh, cool. <laughs> So javelin, scimitar, chain shirt with a hole, <laughs> and manacles, a whip. I don't miss one of these. Oh, I think that's it. All right. Uh, what would you guys like to do now? Uh, Buckle Tick, still disguised as Drickle, will walk a bit further into the cavern next to the fire. Okay. Wait. Yeah. And I will shout for attention for all these three goblins that I see within 
they're all within 30 feet of me and just kind of be like, what the hell are you doing sleeping on the job? Any of them wake up or they just all just snooze them? Um, so the number one, uh, he was awake. Oh. Uh, number two <coughs> wakes up. Number three stays asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I walk over to the number two and I or or number three and I uh, wait was it two or three that wasn't awake? Sorry, three, three, three was still. Yeah. I go to three and I shake him awake. Say, get the hell up! And I go back to the middle. Any of them getting up at all? <laughs> uh, three. Yeah, he, he gets up. And I just tell them the same shit that I told the uh, other three. Uh, New management, uh, walk outside of the, of the line with your arms in the air and say, Buckle Tick sent you and uh, uh, loyal, your loyalty is with uh, Troll Talton. And I do say there will be handsome pay. You will be paid a lot of gold and such. <laughs> okay, so the same, the same spiel. Uh, roll a persuasion check for these three. Persuasion. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Uh, Twenty three. Damn. All right. Yep. They uh, they go filing out. A little confused, but uh, you know, you look like their boss, and boss says to go. So boss goes. How long did your disguise self last? It lasts an hour. Oh, okay. You're safe. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I'll take his boss. So, uh, until we get to the the other boss. <laughs> Hi, I'll just turn it to him. Oh, the turtle go. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you guys standing outside see the the group of three more goblins all come out with their their hands are up and as <laughs> as they walk by, I'm gonna slap them on the butt. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. Whoops. Welcome to the team. It's black. Oh god. Sorry, I grabbed your token on accident. I was blind for a minute. All right, so I'm going to keep these guys, put them down here so we know how many you got, maybe. <clears throat> okay, uh, so they go down, and they've sworn their allegiance. Uh, Nick, Nick, what would you like to do? <laughs> Uh, that is a good question. I don't want to go anywhere that I don't know, so I will go forward and get thoroughly confused by the guy that was just dead now ahead of me. Hey, Nick. Nick. Uh, <laughs> Huh? What? What? It's me. Trickle? Uh, I, I speak it's in her me. head. Buckle tick in her head. Did you eat buckle tick? <laughs> I dropped the form. Huh? And you then I turn back oh, into Oh, yeah, it. you can do that. And oh. I turn back into Drickle. Figured this would help recruit a little quicker or a little easier. Oh my gosh. This is why you and Squeeb are bosses. <laughs> <laughs> I just help. Uh, I will. You want me to sweep this area? See if they've left anything behind? Sure. Okay. I'll, uh, those look like water barrels. Those look like cots. I don't really see anything else. Buckle Tick jumps into the water barrel and just submerges himself for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, so there's a done, goblin over here. <laughs> you're done uh, talking to Nick Nick. And Nick Nick, as soon as you walk away, you hear a splash behind you. And uh, uh, Drickle via uh, Buckle Tick is gone, just submerged in the water barrel. <laughs> and, uh, you went down here first, right? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, me investigation. 
see if there's anything sure. on there for you. You got this. <clears throat> oh my god. Nice. <laughs> I found flatulence. <laughs> Mouth flatulence. <laughs> a butt burn. I just smelled oh. farted. <laughs> uh, a natural 13 plus 8, 21. Uh, yeah, uh, you find uh, this like tattered like group of pages kind of stuck together. It looks like a goblin journal. <clears throat> and it, you flip through the pages real quick and just like half ass scrawled in the journal is uh, uh, sleep on one page. The next page says eat. The next page says sleep. The next page says eat. <laughs> And it, it goes on like that for a few more burps and it, or burps. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's a compelling story. My Thanks eyes kind of wandered burp. over to the chat real fast and then came back. <laughs> a few more pages and uh, the, like the, the the like loosely what you call a book it's like falls apart in the last uh, little bit there. Somebody wasn't very wow. articulate. They maybe only knew the words. Uh, I almost said burp again. Sleep and and <laughs> that's a compelling Burps. story. Yeah. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> All right. Uh, where where did you check next? Uh, I went to this little room. Okay. Can do another investigation. <laughs> sure. Hmm. Nah, that's a little and eleven. Eleven. Uh, you just find like some crumbs of old food and things in there. <laughs> nothing. Nothing super cool. Okay. And I went to these places. All right. No, another one there. Do better. <laughs> that was. <laughs> 23. 23. All right. Uh, in these ones, you find uh, uh, in the first cot, the one that you're right in front of there, it, uh, God damn it. <laughs> it, it uh, <laughs> looks like an old, like, <laughs> greasy, nasty looking brush with, like, old stringy hair hanging onto it. Uh. Uh, in the second cot, you find uh, a half eaten rat. It looks uh, cooked on one end and raw on the other. <laughs> uh, I think I'll hot pocket. <laughs> I'll like, look at the like <laughs> gross looking brush and go oh, <laughs> goblin hot pocket. Can use for that. <laughs> could use for Trilda's hair. <laughs> huh. All right. Wait, I'm glad we uh, all speak on the same page. Get a, roll a roll a D four. Oh, okay. Did you just see that I wrote that? Uh oh. I also two, bought Trilda. You get two long <laughs> gray hairs uh, <laughs> off this brush. <laughs> After about a minute, I climb out of the damn thing and be like, yeah, that was nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. still, 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 uh, still in the drickle form. Because right. why not? <laughs> You're sopping wet, but the form looks like it's dry. <laughs> and uh, you're going over in this room. In this room, uh, you spot uh, another goblin. Looks like he has uh, like his his shitty bedroll like pulled up over his head. And I'm gonna make you wait. Sharto, uh, what are you doing back there? Can I run in here? Yep. Whoops. Oh, I could. You took control of it. Can you move him? No. What the shit? There you go. Got it. Nope. Yep. Can't go in there. Wait, I'll go here. 
can I cast this guy's self on myself? Sure. We have a lot of this. I, I want to change into Nick Nick. <laughs> what? I want to go down here. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's getting back to work. I'm boss Nick Nick now. <laughs> And then come back up here, drop it. <laughs> okay. You just, uh. I don't know that they were listening to Nick Nick at any point, were they? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, they weren't. No, they weren't. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, when, uh. <laughs> When you drop down there to say get back to work, I'm, I'm boss Nick Nick. Everybody can stops and looks around at you, and uh, nobody really does anything besides like start milling around again. Uh, you see the uh, the ones that were by the the pit are still loading up some of the the red ore that they've pulled out of the pit into the wagon, and that's really it. Nobody seems like they're doing uh, anything more than what they were before you said that. Okay. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Mastella? Um, so, man, I, I don't know where to go. So, everybody went down like somewhere over here, I think. I can't do the thingy. Click. There you go. Yep, they went somewhere down that way. <laughs> um, I guess I'll stick with. Everyone over here. Also, I want to gather up precious anyway. So I guess I will go. Um, let's see how far I can go. Uh, if I can get the ruler thing to work. So like over that way somewhere ish. All right. Um. Whoops. Forgot to switch back. So I guess I'll go over here. My dog kissed you. And I pick up Precious and give give Precious a hug. And see Aww. what's happening. Uh looks like everybody went up. Hmm. Um I guess when you get over yeah. to uh when you get over to Precious, you, it like does the, the snuffling sound and it rubs up against you. Aww. He's happy to see you. Aw, press press. <clears throat> Yeah, cute. Um, is that all I can do from here? I think that was my movement. Um, yeah, I think that's all I can do. Can I do a smell check just to see where what whatever's right here? Sure. Oh, geez. Uh, nineteen plus something. Uh, plus. 24? 24. You smell more goblins. Hmm. Okay. That's all I smell. Nothing else. Uh, you smell goblins that are unfamiliar to you. Just like a, a general goblin scent. So it's not your uh, hmm. not your buddies. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's all I can do. I think. From where I'm at. Oops. Okay. Um, uh, Iris? I'm gonna go. I have no clue where anybody is. Let me see. Mm -hmm. What button did you say to do the. Uh, right click. Oh, I don't have right click on my stupid, so. Try Q. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, I'm so smart. I literally <laughs> just uh, just read that on accident, like right before you asked that. I was looking up a different hotkey and saw that one there for uh, Mac users. I'm gonna go. I don't know where everyone is. Estella! <laughs> Why? Where we go? You sound like a pissed off duck. <laughs> <laughs> Not no yet. Not no. Oops. 
All right. What's great about Bluetooth headphones, I heard the entire thing of what happened with Shardo. Oh. <laughs> I am so confused. <laughs> it's kind of flattered. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to go towards that fire, I suppose. Mascala! Fire! <laughs> <laughs> on my screen, she just disappeared into the black. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I saw too. I'm moving over there, so you oh, okay? Because whoops, uh, because when you run in there, uh oh, when you run in there, death. <laughs> oh God! Death awakens in your bones. All right. Is there a bunch of gobos? So you have chosen death. Yep. Uh, so, Iris wanders in and possibly chooses violence. I will wave and be like, hello, I give you gold to join Toltaden. <laughs> roll, <laughs> roll a persuasion check. You got this. Persuasion. They're going to see my dolls and love me. No, they're not. Oh, so- <laughs> <laughs> she just freaked out. This, this weird uh, gray skin, white haired, eye bandaged goblin walks in with her dick arms waving. Uh, says something about <laughs> Told Halden. Uh, and they, uh, they are, <laughs> you're talking about. But uh, the, the first one, uh, let, me, let me go ahead and number these guys so you know who we're talking about here. But uh, number one looks at you all confused, like they're sitting there. Uh, they, they've got something on sticks over the fire that looks like they're cooking. And uh, he says, "Who's you? Where, where did you come from?" I am Iris Spark Gargle of the Mudbutt Clan, and you have luckily been chosen to join us. Yeah, much from you. <laughs> she becomes articulate just in that one moment. <laughs> <laughs> one looks from you across the fire to four. Four looks at one and just shrugs. Uh, uh, two and three, they uh, put him in a square. Oh. Uh, two and three, they both reach down towards their belt at uh, daggers that they've got there. And uh, two holds his dagger on. He says, "I don't, I don't know what a fart gargle is." But uh, you know, it's true <laughs> and say it, say it. <laughs> he uh, he flips his dagger over in one quick motion and throws it at you. What an a hole! You're a monk. He catch your imagination. He so he just missed me. Yep, he threw the dagger, but he missed you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the, monk, the monk inside of me was like, come on, come on. And <laughs> things, instincts. Yeah, you, you do have deflect missiles at level you got it at level three. Yeah, but doesn't have to like be doesn't have to hit me. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Okay. just if he hits you. Just letting you know. All right. Sorry. So happy I brought my book today. <laughs> that was my book, sir. I'm giving you a wonderful opportunity, but either you join us or I spank you with my dicks. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll spank you with the back of my dick head. <laughs> oh, shit. When you say that, he looks to your your waving tubular I don't know wacky waving inflatable arm flailing too man yeah <laughs> he looks at him and waving you see his eyes kind of like following him around and uh he, yeah three is going to wind up and try to hit one of your waving arm thingies <laughs> uh, what's your AC 17 17 so wait, I if they're astral, easy. does that mean they like slide through it? Mm-hmm. No, yeah, they're kind of translucent. They're they're translucent, but I mean they're real enough to smack people with from ten feet away. So, mm-hmm. um, 
Yeah, but anyways, he he misses you with his dagger too, and the all four of them uh, bust out their what do they have? Swords instead. Oh boy. Boop. <laughs> uh, why don't you go ahead and roll initiative, Iris? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many goblins are in there? Th- these guys clearly ignored the whistle that stopped right outside of their room and uh, <laughs> were just intent on cooking. Uh, ten for I rolled a pan. Matthew's making battle music on the book. Battle music. <laughs> battle drums. <laughs> they had five. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I got you. I mean, that's not All battle right. music. <laughs> I it is if your name is Mario. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> You can it, you can go, Iris. You can do what you would like to do. Well, guess I'm gonna be smacking turds. So anyway, I will slap number one and slap number four. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Actually, I'll slap. I'll use a key point. Slap number one twice because he started it, <laughs> and number four once. Fourteen does not hit. Oh, oops! Darn it! It rolled in twenty-three D and D, but not yeah twenty-three. Yep, I got it. Twenty-three hits. Okay. All right. Oh, 13, thirteen. No, does not hit. So you got one hit in on number one. Okay. Dick punch his face hole. Eight. Uh, yeah, you, he ducks under your first arm, and the second arm comes back across and knocks him out. Yeah, yeah. And I guess I'm gonna run back to my homies because <laughs> I'm gonna need some help. You just run in, knock a goblin out with a dick arm, and run back out. Yep. All right. Um, my Stella! <laughs> what happened? I, the guys, I said, join us because we're cool. And they were like, you smell like poop. And they threw a knife at me. And so I hit him. Uh, there's there three you. more in there. <laughs> Within the span of six seconds, you lost that fabulous articulation. <laughs> 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 All right. Um... So, uh, Mustella and Squeeb. Yeah, I think that's it. You guys can roll uh, initiative. Roll initiative. Roll it. Um, <laughs> 15. 15. Squeeb? I got a 10. 10. Hmm. So, mm. I think Iris will be going before you, Squeeze. Probably has the higher decks. Alright. So, uh, Mastella. Um, so there's three dudes in there. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I think... <laughs> I'm reading my spell real quick here. Uh, within five feet of the sphere. Uh, let's see. I think... I think that I need to see something. So I'm going to move... Here. <clears throat> and... I will. I will. I think I will cast Flaming Sphere, which would cancel my storm outside if it's still going. Yeah, I don't know. 
And I want to put the flaming streak. Actually, hang on. Let me see if that affects something real quick. Uh, let's see. Does anything happen if you put the flaming sphere on top of a fire? Don't think so. But I'm looking to make I'm sure, but I'm making sure I didn't miss something. Are you hoping it like doubles in size or something? Yeah, or something. I don't know. <laughs> More damage, maybe. Uh, it has to be in an unoccupied space. Uh, <clears throat> And let's see, any creature that ends its turn within five feet of the sphere must make a dex saving throw. Let's see, it doesn't do anything. It ignites things? It does, yes. Do the flames ignite? The flames do ignite. <laughs> Into more flames. So it doesn't do any um, um, direct like damage. They just have to. They have to end their turn in the the fire right fire space. Let's see, five foot damage for uh, fire space. Any creature that ends within five feet must make a saving throw. Uh, let's see. Oh, unless you ram it. Yeah, well, if you ram say, it. As, a, as a bonus action, you can move it up to 30 feet. Um, let's see. So I guess what I want to do is can I cast it and try to hit number three with it, I guess? You know, like, I guess it would be in the campfire, I think. Yes. And ram it into number three. Yep, you can do. Um, let's see. Oh, we got some goblins. They're going to be on fire. Flaming sphere. The fellow shoots her hand forward and fire comes out. Don't make my still mad. And you're trying to uh, ram it into three? Yes. Yeah. Alright, so three has to make a dexterity save. The creature must make the saving throw against the sphere's damage. It's a dex 15 save. Alright, he has 13, so he fails the save. Takes so. two. Okay. Let me see if this works. No, that's not very good. But did it work? Uh, I had the wrong thing on. I... Did the number show up? Mm -hmm. I don't. Oh, three? Ouch, you pulled a one and a two? Yeah, but it's not good. All right. Uh, so he takes three damage. He burns him, but he's still alive. Um, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> my my tabs, everything's gone. Hang on just a second here. Okay, does that count as a bonus action, though? To move it, or is that like when you cast it? Here's an uh, I think it's a bonus action to move it. Yeah, as a bonus I action. Okay, yeah, okay. So, so you, was, you summon your... it and then you and then move it with a bonus action. Yep. Uh -huh. You summoned it with your action, then that's what it looks like. Bonus okay. Action, and you killed your thunderstorm outside, so the sky is clear out there. Um, yes. All right. And then um, I want to. Step to the side, I think, over here. Okay. Uh, Iris, it is your turn. Mm -hmm. Why did you use Fury of the Small? Oh, yeah, I haven't used that in a while. I keep forgetting I have Fury of the Small. All right, I will. Oh, it won't work on <laughs> goblins. They have to be. Oh, size right, bigger. right. They're the same size. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I will run into here. Maybe I don't want to be that close. Oh, well. Watch for that fire, sea star. <laughs> you can shoot you ran out and Does that Chrissy and ran back in. <laughs> Does that make me run into the. Am I, am I you, okay, Derek? Uh, as long as you don't end your turn there. So if you stay in there, punch some things, okay. and run back out, you'll be okay. Oh, yeah, yep. I'm going to do that. So. <gasps> I forgot to use my key point. Hold on. 
from last time. Two. So I'm down to one because I'm going to do it again. Okay. Oh, maybe I should not do that. Never mind. I don't want to do that. So you know, it's um, I'm just going to hit him twice. Okay. Word. 17 hits. Okay. And two. Oh. Uh, 13 does not hit. Okay. I'm going to punch him in the crotch. <laughs> okay. And that's eight points of damage. Oh, no, nine. Uh, for what? number four? Yeah. My, my D&D says eight. I'm confused. Uh, it says you roll the three plus the six is nine total. Mine says two plus six on D and D, but then it says nine on the other one. Let's see, three plus. Six. That's really weird. Since you rolled the three on that one, oh, that's my stellar. Huh? I don't know. Huh. Um. Anyway, the result would still be the same. You um, dick punch his junk up into his abdomen, and he falls <laughs> forward into the fire. Oh, oops. Falls, falls sideways into the fire and the flaming sphere. So, uh, four is dead. I'm going to say, oopsie poopsie, and then run back out. <laughs> <laughs> this goblin just runs in, kills something, runs out, and then does it again. <laughs> uh, squeak. Now maybe they'll be convinced. <laughs> um, I guess I'll... I imagine the the girl gallows are just like, like, like laughing back and forth, killing shit, and then running back out of the room. <laughs> I guess I'll go in there looking and come around the corner and just <laughs> Boktok and have Boktok look around the skeletal head and look as menacing and have Boktok. I'll tell Boktok telepathically because we have this connection to just do this, just screech at them. I just want to try to scare them and intimidate them as much as possible. I'll creep around my yuck while I'm pointed at them. Um, and uh, this is like a and then like uh, dino riders for goblins. <laughs> yeah. like, I want to uh, ask them. Krulos on the Tyrannosaurus <laughs> coming around the corner. <laughs> yeah, and I ask them. You join or die. Uh, join. Make an intimidation check. You got this. Yeah. All right. Hmm. <laughs> I rolled. I rolled a ten. Ten. Uh, uh, no join. You die. <laughs> <laughs> can I? Can I still have an action? Uh yeah, yeah. Well, you get a second attack anyway, don't you? Uh yeah. If I if I use the attack action, yeah, I'll say so. It's not it's not like a a big uh, key fight here, so you're you're fine. Okay, uh, I guess I'll just run in and I just start. Then I'm just gonna die, and I start running and char- I just charge him, <laughs> run and plow right into number two. All right. <laughs> Plow into that Sorry. number two, Garo. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a twenty-one to hit. Bam! Mm-hmm. And that would be a seven damage on that one. All right. So and that was on number two. You plow into yeah. two and impale him and s- trample him down into his bed. <laughs> Is he dead? Dead? He's dead. <laughs> okay, then I'll use my second attack to sp- run through the other guy. Um, that is a 12 to hit. 12 misses. All right, and then I'll bok talk, just heck the shit out of him. Okay. With my bonus action. And bonus action, heck the shit. Let's see. That's an uh, 18 to hit. Mm-hmm. 
And damage is... That's nine damage. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Pecks him, pecks his poor last goblin all over his face and his neck and his chest. And <laughs> the goblin's just bloody ribbons after Boktok is done with him. And he too falls to the flames. Yeah. yeah. And. Good show, Boktok. Good. That's an additional four goblins. Okay. And uh, you're ending your turn there, girl? Yeah, that'll be it for me. All right, make a dexterity check. <laughs> oh. Dexterity is saving five. throw. Um, um, Unless you, you, know, okay. you don't want to stand next to the fire. Yeah, I don't want to stand next to the fire. I'll, I'll move out of there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, if I feel it, I'd be like, oh, crap. There's five beds in there. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to lose uh, 10, 15, 20, 25. Did you run out of fingers, Melissa? <laughs> 30. Are there only four goblins in there? There's one in her bed, I think. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It was at that point she counted the beds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. done. so you've got uh, you've cl cleared out that room there uh, the the middle room up top has been uh, largely cleared out and checked except for the, the goblin that Nick Nick found sleeping in the bed and I think we'll end it there with Shardo staring off into a, an empty hallway <laughs> <laughs> towards the, the entrance there so, uh, yeah, uh, good session. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. You can check out the social media links down below. Hopefully, they get up and working. Uh, yeah. Until then, yeah, thanks for watching. Group, goodbye. Yeah. Rock and roll. Yeah. Bye. Thank you, Andy. <laughs>